Good morning. Hello. How are you doing? Guy, Arasing, hello. How are you? Of course. Of course I'm more cheerful. More cheerful than I have been the last two days. Like, don't get me wrong. Right. Hades, it's a pretty fun game. It's a pretty good game. Not exactly Cold Steel 4, though, is it? I mean, this is, what, the eighth game? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ninth. The ninth game. Like, how long did it take me to play the other seven? Auto saving. I did. I did take a while for CS3, yeah. Turn all this up a bit. Uh, to advanced messages, no. Active voice. Active voice settings. Change what you can do while an active voice is playing. Selecting free lets you talk to NPCs and investigate. Sure. Sure. Oh, I see. Uh, anything I have to change here? Dash with R1. Vero, I have no idea at what temperature you're supposed to cook meatballs. Also, that, the whole temperature thing, I don't know. But if I'm looking at a packaging for something and it says, hey, you should, uh, you should cook this thing on gas mark five for 20 minutes. That's the temperature I cook it at. That's fine. Now, Arasing, I have a question. The recap that happens, is it this backstory thing or is it actually like a cutscene that plays at the start of the game? It is in backstory, okay.
Yes, I do. Oh, okay, to so long. I did see that there was a new Raiders event. We probably won't do it today. But, um... Yeah, I'll probably start it up either tomorrow or the day after. This is the kind of game where you kind of... Grind it out and... Walk... A lot of places not really doing much except fighting things. Looking for that... The, the like right enemy. Oh my god, stop this. Yeah, for today, I just want to... absorb it all in. The oven has a temperature that you pick with three digit numbers, or frying with high, no medium. Well... I think you can do that with electric cookers, but with gas cookers, you have to get like a gas mark, uh, gas mark thing, right? So, I don't know that low, high, medium thing. I I always get really annoyed when that kind of stuff happens. All right. So I remember everything that happens in Cold Steel One. For the most part, I remember what happened in Cold Steel 3. Let's... Are you sure there isn't some sort of Cold Steel 3 uh, re recap video on YouTube? Because I cannot remember for the life of me what happened. I remember how it ended. It's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I I like how... Hang on. I like how the easy difficulty, the description for it is, battles won't be easy, but they won't be hard either. <laughs> For those who want to enjoy the story and battles equally, surely that would be the normal difficulty. I mean... Played all the other games on Nightmare, so... You get the special bonuses if you have system data from Cold Steel 1, 2, and 3. Load system data from the above mentioned games. Yes! Hooray! 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 Yes, I will load clear data from... Cold Steel 3. It's right there. Based on Marine's level, the following bonuses were received. Life Droplet, Power Droplet, Defense... or oh, Shining Bomb Droplet. Receive the following items for getting Branch Campus Enhancement to Prestigious. Dragon Incense and to Spirit Incense. Received a champion medallion for reaching instructor rank S. Games you received will be available in game once you reach a certain point in the story. Hooray! Western outskirts of the Erebonian Empire, remote town of Alster. Do these black bars ever go away? Ah. 
Oh, that is weird. After two weeks of confusion and panic, a sense of quiet has finally settled over Heimdall. This somber air comes after the funeral of Prince Olivert, a service unattended by his father, Emperor Eugent, who remains in a coma. Furthermore, the Imperial Diet announced after an emergency Wait, what? session yesterday Did that, that the national mobilization law would I don't remember that happening. immediately. What? The unanimously approved measure was put forth in response to a string of terrorist attacks when did that happen? masterminded by the Republic of Calvert. All Imperial subjects are required to offer their full cooperation at the government's request. With the new law in effect, the government has imposed rationing, instated a draft, and started requisitioning supplies for the army. Oh. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't remember that at all. <laughs> Fair enough, right. I don't understand what's happening. Looks like something major's occurred. His Majesty being attacked like that, and then Prince Oliver passing away. That lightning strike six months ago must have been a sign. Dear Idios, please guide our prince's spirit in the afterlife. This draft thing they're talking about, does that mean us too? I've seen many of these conscription programs in my day, ever since I was young. Alright, what's gonna happen? Wait, do we do we know these characters? I don't even know. I don't know Tilia, but we'll be okay, I'm sure of it. As long as we have the braces and those people from Thor's. Dandy okay? I heard that the school is under lockdown because of the attack on his majesty. I haven't heard from her yet. Uh, I would have never let her go if I knew this was going to happen. Oh, there you are. Oh. Now that's, that's a statement. That, that haircut is a statement. Major Mathen. What happened? You look like you ran all the way here. Well, an emergency notice from the provincial government just arrived. It says we're due to start receiving draft cards from next week on. Males aged 19 to 45 will be targeted. Wait just one minute. It's so sudden. It's too sudden. This is it, everyone. The war with Calvard is unfolding now before our very eyes. Calvard... Calvard. Is Calvard the area to the east? That's Calvard, right? Crossbows between Erebonia and Calvard. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're also being asked to provide surplus goods and to make any other contributions we can. We'll be able to uh, we'll be able to strike back at the ones who carried out those attacks on His Majesty and Prince Oliver, the Pride of Ulster. We must do what we whatever we can. Do you not agree? Uh, I I do see what you mean, but. True, to the people of Ulster, Prince Oliver was one of our greatest sources of pride. We can't let this gutless act of terrorism against him and his, uh, and his majesty stand. Given the circumstances, it will be an honour to be drafted. If we don't rise to the occasion, then we don't deserve to be sons of Erebonia.
That's right. Wait. Got the Emperor of a Calvard gun to blame it on Calvard. Ah, yeah. The thing that I'm struggling to remember about is... Oh, there's, there's so much going on, right? There's the gnomes, there's Ouroboros, there's whatever uh, the Chancellor is doing now that he's not actually dead. There's all of the stuff that was going on with um, Alfin's brother. Right? Because he was being used to resurrect that red mech thing. Which was like the blood-soaked mech that the old emperor used once to kill his brother or something. I don't know. It's... And there's like seven different versions of Crow, but he's definitely not Crow. Definitely not Crow in a mask. No, definitely not him. Testarossa, that's the one. Yeah. Alright, I never liked Cedric. Fine. Right, we need to cooperate wherever we can, it seems. Hold on, everyone. What in the world is happening? What if everyone all of a sudden? Old man Bo, Jarnak, even you, Gasco. Hi. It's okay, Tilly, it's okay. Things are starting to get a little complicated. Why don't we head back home, okay? Okay. That black wind. It's outside the, uh, it's outside the building. It seems like it's blowing in from the basin. Huh. Wait, is what I'm talking about mostly from CS2? Maybe I really don't remember. Oh wait. I think I just remembered one other thing that happened. Bloody... What's her name? Went back to Ouroboros, didn't she? The best character in the game. Yep. Fucking Sharon. Wait, was that really CS2? No, I'm sure it... Are you sure? I'm sure he didn't get revealed to still be alive until, like, near the final boss of CS3. Maybe I'm wrong. Aren't those? Yeah, they don't look like they're from the provincial army. Uh, provincial army, though. Why would there be soldiers from the imperial army rather than the provincial army? Just like the civil war a few years back. Could that mean we're finally on the cusp of war? Looks like the unified regions army is joining the war against Calvard. A naval fortress has been vacated too. Its personnel have been absorbed by an imperial army division. War with Calvert. All I've heard are rumours. Makes me wonder what the new candidate to succeed the Cayenne household is planning. Candidate to succeed the Cayenne household. Hmm. 
I probably should have. I probably... Yeah, I thought that was... Uh... The Muse stuff, but I couldn't remember. Should probably have done the backstory stuff. Wait. Hang on. Have a look. Uh, oh my god, this doesn't just go by chapters, this goes like day by day. Ugh. Oh, there's a thing here that says Summary of Cold Steel 1 and 2. That's that's not what I wanted. Why is it that legendofheroes.com has a summary for Cold Steel 1 and 2, but doesn't have a summary for Cold Steel 3? I mean, I could just do it in the game, I guess. I feel like I just, I just want like a nice, like, I don't know, 10 minute video that tells me what the hell happened. There's a Cold Steel 3 refresher, which is a recap of Cold Steel 2. Yeah, I've got... I, I can't find... I can't find anything here. All I can find is reviews and Cold Steel 1 and 2 summaries. God damn it, YouTube. Why are you letting me down? Okay, let's say the family of Count Flora who are temporarily managing Ordis at the moment. So someone's coming from over by the station. Yeah, I think what I might end up having to do is... Wait, isn't that... That's a... Uh... I want to say that's Machias' dad? That's pretty shocking to see him here. Could they not animate that car turning on the bridge? If it isn't Heimdall's very own Imperial Governor, Karl Regnitz. Yeah. Although he's temporarily left his beloved capital to take office as interim supervisor here in Ordis. Meaning that the Empire has finally started to move in earnest. A conscription office has just opened here. It's only a matter of time before draft cards start going out. No one can afford to be careless here. We Thor's graduates least of all. Indeed, 
What's more, with the inscrutable darkness enshrouding Heimdall, we are unable to confirm the safety of Ferris and the others. Ferris. I remember Ferris. And though the Viceland army has mobilized, it would be quite unreasonable to expect them to handle everything by themselves. It seems we will need to find some allies and take action as well. Yes, including those who embody the spirit of the Horned Lion. Class 7. My dear gardening friend included. Dear gardening friend, eh? He really does. This is the area from the third game, right? This is where the branch campus was. Class 7 was the class from the first game. So, like, Emma, Fee, Laura, Green, Machias, Elliot, uh, Elisa, Fuck, why... There's one I'm forgetting. I can't remember his name. Here, yeah, why can't I remember his name? Usus. Yeah, that's the one. Usus Alborea. Is it Alborea? Rufus's brother. More like a useless in CS3. Wow. Oh, that's right. That's what Noble Command is what made him so good in 2. I remember breaking the game in CS2 with Noble Command. Noble Command plus Laura just spamming her S-Craft and doing like 12 million damage. Oh my god, are they really conscripting civilians now? Yeah, Pop's got his notification just yesterday. The big conscription office that's being set up right over in Grenville. War with Calvard is nothing short of a foolish endeavor. His majesty was conscious. There's no way he would allow this. I can't believe that Ash would shoot the Emperor. Oh. Yeah. A scheming bastard. Was he a Calvard spy all along? Doesn't say anything definite about it in the Imperial Chronicle. I haven't heard a thing from the branch campus since everything started happening. I tried asking the authorities, but I haven't gotten a response so far. I haven't been able to get through to Mr. Celestin either. Damn it, I hope they're okay. Exactly, you've got to take advantage of everything possible. Yet Sister Racine still isn't back. And we don't know where any of the branch campus students are. I wonder just what happened at the capital two weeks ago. Huh? Barking. Wait, is that? Huh? Jingo. Hey! Long time no see! How you been holding up? Don't just act like nothing's wrong. When did you get back? You were supposed to be in Heimdall. Yeah, it's been a rough ride for sure. I just got back last night. Me and this one have been packing things up. Did, 
Was she voiced in the last game? I don't remember her being voiced, but she she ran the shop in Crossbell, right? And then she came here. Like she was the kid from the weapons shop in Crossbell. I'm trying to remember things slowly as I go through it. That's right, yeah. Kicked him off a roof while he was singing. You're packing up? Does that mean you're gonna yep, leave Jingo? Sure am. Things are looking pretty bad. Oh, right. I got a message from Rosine for you. Told me to tell you she wouldn't be back for a while and said she was sorry. But no. What does she mean by that? Gina, Frankie, everyone, listen. No. Nope. What is it? What happened? We just got a message from Heimdall Central Station. A special train car belonging to Thor's military academy is coming here on the cargo line. Whoa. For real? Dun dun dun. Oh, faster than I expected. Guess Meek's info was spot on. Always is. I better scram before she spots me. Hey, that noise. It's the Durflinger's horn. So they are okay, thank goodness. I have to go get the cafeteria ready. I'm sure they must be hungry. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the main campus train, isn't it? Wasn't ours green or something? Wait, the train. It's red. What the heck's going on? Okay. So this is the branch campus. But Instructor Makarov, why were we sent here so Bloody suddenly? Bloody Makarov. Yeah, Jingo's from the Crossbell games. She was the kid in the weapons shop. Her and her mum ran the weapons shop in Crossbell. Who knows? But I guess we're going to have to take part in this messed up curriculum. Oh, it's <sighs> those two. I never thought we'd come back here under these circumstances. That was, uh, Cedric's friends, wasn't it? Hmm. Wow, this place is pretty nice. Oh, that's right. I hear that one professor guy built some kind of training facility here too, yeah? Oh, that's right. Oh, they actually changed some voice actors. Wait, how can you change Osborne's voice actor? Like, that's not cool. Osborne's voice actor was great. Maybe while Princey Boy's off doing his duty, I'll 
I'll have myself a little fun. Yeah, she's uh, Randy's sister. Or is it cousin? That's right, cousin, yeah. Holding such a huge military parade like this is definitely suspicious. Alan! Especially considering how they put everything together so quickly. I'm worried about Class 7, but I've got my own mission as a soldier of the Empire. If I want to protect this country, and Bridget, I shouldn't be hesitating. That Rex. Vivi disappeared without a trace. I haven't heard a thing about Class 7. Norton's been acting weird too. I should probably get out of Heimdall for a while. Yeah, I remember some characters. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Yeah, but something seems weird. Hey, another character named Kai. Everyone's faces look so scary. This ray, I might get drafted soon too. Just wish we knew if Toa was safe. Yeah. There you are. Oh, are you two? You must be Asteri and Fiona. That's us. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. I'm sorry for getting in touch so abruptly. Wait, Fiona is Elliot's sister, right? If I remember rightly? Yeah? Okay. I don't remember the other character, but I think she has something to do with Crossbell. Maybe. Didn't she come from Crossbell to get a job and she works in the department store or something? Oh, Machias' old friend. Oh, okay. All right, we've all been having trouble contacting our loved ones. Let's go someplace quiet and talk. Alright. What's that useless nerd Machias off, to a, uh, off doing at a time like this? Ah, see? Yeah, I knew she had something to do with Crossbell. Yeah, I just got it the wrong way around. Oh, and then that's, that was what, Neidhart, Elliot's dad, Rufus, Cedric, and Alyssa's mum? It goes without saying, but a harsh, bitter struggle I don't remember lies Van ahead of this nation. We find ourselves faced with a war the like of which Erebonia has never seen. Oh, of course it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. Completely forgot. But we will prove triumphant. 
we will bring to bear the finest strategies and the full might of the Imperial Army. And with the Rhineford Group's cooperation, we now possess the greatest military force Zemuria has ever seen. I give you my word that this conflict will be over within the year. Oh, good. I come before you all today to announce the War Council's decision. We will punish the Republic of Calvert for their crimes and subjugate them under the might of the Empire. The hour will be upon us soon. Fuck you, we Cedric. will begin the greatest military operation in Erebonian history. Operation Jormungand. It's her. Jormungand, the mythical serpent that swallows the world. Terrazard. It's a fitting name. Way too fitting, if you ask me. There she is. This is Silverstreak. Yona, do you read me? One of the best characters from the Sky Games. Hey, there's Crossbell. We're actually going to war, huh? No way, like seriously? Rufus is dreamy and all, but he's kind of scary too. Are uh, you scared too, Cop? Don't worry, I hear something about our heroes. Wait, heroes? Who were they again? Oh god, the Black Wind, no! East Street. This is totally messed up. Oh, it's her from the restaurant. Didn't she win Miss Crossbell or something? Or she was in the Miss Crossbell contest. Why should we have to join this dumb war? It's going to be bad for business, that's for sure. Though business is probably the least of our worries now. Unbelievable. And not two minutes after I get back from the capital either. Dingo's probably got things covered on her end. But it looks like I'll have to settle things with the rest myself. No word from Yuna, huh? No one's been asking around, but nothing yet. I wonder if she's okay. Is she ever coming home? Hey, it'll be alright. Your sister never lets anything get her down. Wherever she is, I'm sure she's doing fine. Do you think Oscar and the others will come back from the capital soon? Like tomorrow? Maybe. Judging from the last message we got from them, it sounded like they were on their way. They're probably just held up with all the soldiers running around. Does anyone know what's going on with Yuna? I tried to contact her, but... Excuse me! Oh, it's that guy! I remember doing a couple of side quests for him. He's the guy that was, um... He was the merchant that was, like, setting up trade routes and stuff. Wasn't he? And there was like a quest with his kids or something. I can't, I can't remember. Hey, was that? That's right. 
It's nice seeing you again. Is there something you wanted to tell us? Well, it's like this. Ryu, Henry, Ken, Nana. Colin! That time you showed up. That's right! That's what it was! Oh, what was her name? Ren? The one with the scythe and matter patter. Yeah, that's right. I hope you're still okay, Randy. I hate to admit it, but this war does sound like a good business opportunity. <laughs> really gonna put on a show of our area or Theodore? Reese is not going to be available for a while either. We should talk about this once Sully gets back from the capital. Hey guys, oh. sorry I'm late. Who said that? Hold on, who are these people? Oh, that's. I recognize the reporter on the left. And I recognize. I think that's. Lloyd's sister? <laughs> Alright, I need to know what word you were trying to type where it auto-corrected to syphilis. <laughs> Uh, who are these people? Aren't you that reporter and you? Aren't you one of Ilya's friends? Hi there. Good to see you again. I can't remember that woman's name, the reporter. I want to say it's like... I want to say it's like Clover or something, but I think that's wrong. Um, we joined up with Sully along the way. It's a long story. You don't say... Sully, what's well, going on? Ilya's going to be moved from St. Ursula. Oh, that's right. Shirley attacked Ilya in the... Um... In the play. Oh, Grace. Yeah. Shirley at attacked Ilya and had, like a chandelier dropped on her or something. And so Ilya got sent to the hospital. And... Sully was brought in to replace Risha. I think Risha was sent to replace Ilya. And then Sully was the thief who was then sort of like brought in to, um, to replace, like to take Risha's place. Hey, more golf. Good morning. This is the game that I should have been playing uh, instead of Hades, <laughs> but because there was a mess up with the um, with the pre-orders on the PSN store, uh, the game wasn't actually downloadable until like yesterday afternoon. But I will tell you one thing. I did end up beating Hades yesterday in my final run of the day. I mean, H Hades the boss, not Hades the game. Uh, I did it with the gun. I had s just a ridiculous build with the gun. It was insane. They're sending her to Armorica for physical therapy. What? Hmm. 
Oh, and then this is the uh, things are getting worse by the minute. Like the triad What's or whatever happen they're in my called. Home? Mr. Shin. In all likelihood, the Republic will fall to the Empire. How can you... The World Serpent is slithering ever closer. You should leave this place and go to Remiferia for your own safety. The Deluxe Edition DLCs aren't working? What? What about my swimsuit DLC? Uh... I've already cleared it with the Elder. No, there's no way I'm leaving Ellie behind. We're Hayaway, aren't we? There must be something we can do. <sighs> Pardon me. Hey there, Mr. White Orchid Dragon. Guess uh... I'm calling a bit late, huh? That's the guy from the Imperial Army's Intelligence Division. Mm. Oh, it's quite all right, Scarecrow. Uh, Ellie was in the Crossbell games. She was the one with the gun. I'm pretty sure. I think I think that's who they're referring to. Maybe. Now, what's this about? The business we discussed before? Or perhaps the other matter? He has white hair or grey hair, however nah, you want to say it. The other thing's already being handled. Don't worry about it. I'm calling about our little business arrangement. I want to get everything settled before the Governor General gets back. <laughs> Very well. Let's discuss oh, the terms. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember. So, you still haven't been able to find Tio? Tio! Sorry. Nothing yet, I'm afraid. None of my contacts have any clues either. But don't worry. I'm going to extend my search outside Heimdall. Give me some more time and I'm sure I'll turn something up. Who, who said I was worried? I remember this kid's name. I'm sure name. Randolph's with her after all. But then again, the debaucherous prince got himself blown up over there, so I guess anything can happen. <sighs> no! <sighs> uh, sorry. Forget I said that. I mean, uh, uh, don't lose hope. Wait, did he always wear glasses? <laughs> Thanks. Like I mentioned before, Governor General Rufus is currently in Heimdall. We might not get another chance like this. Help those kids make the most of it. <laughs> well, duh. You don't need to tell me twice. Aww. Man, what a train wreck of a call. I don't know how to deal with stuff like that. Anyway, so she's that idiot prince's girlfriend, huh? Complete opposite of him, but I guess they're a good match. Or they were. It's them! Is it them? Yona, we're almost at the destination. You better be ready to back us up. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Did he always wear glasses? I remember him wearing glasses. Shara, take this. If anything should happen to me, you can use it to contact the others. I love Shara. Sarah's great. Joshua and Ren. It's all up to you now. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Are we finally gonna get some gameplay <laughs> an hour into the game? <laughs> Well, 45 minutes.
Well, that's the crossbow tower, right? Uh, let's see. Let's go for green, 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 and green. Ah, oh, look who it is. It's Lloydo Beningus. <laughs> Everybody we shut up. It this it's far. Estelle. Onward and upward. Wait, that's her voice? Joshua. But seriously, we really appreciate your guys' help, given everything that's going on right now. Especially you, Lloyd. You're still on the wanted list, aren't you? That's Ellie. If I remember rightly. Yeah, Ellie McDowell. Yeah. But Arios, Rishia, and Noel caused enough of a distraction to take some of the heat off my back. We're glad to help. But we're the ones who should be thanking you. It's encouraging to have you here with us. Please voice is pretty good. Ren and Koa, I think. Kia. Damn. I still can't believe you brought the little girl with you. <laughs> I missed you too, Ren. Oh God. Oh, she's just as overwhelmingly adorable as ever. Hey, Kia, can I give you a little squeeze? Please? <laughs> Not if I give you one first. Squeeze! Oh, I'm being crushed by cuteness, obliterated by adorableness. <sighs> You're shameless, you know that? Estelle, please control yourself. Don't forget that we're here to gather intel on what happened in Heimdall. Right. First, we couldn't get a hold of Tita, and now, it seems like the whole continent is headed for war. And then, Olivier and Toval. Yeah. Mm. We owed Prince Oliver a lot. He was always going out of his way to help us. I still can't believe it. We haven't been able to reach Tio, Randy, or Yuna either. Mm. Hey, Ren, you found out something important during those Orbal network tests in Liberal, right? Right. Yes, it was during the wireless connection trials we were running. The project was a collaboration among Liberal's CCF, the Epstein Foundation's Crossbell branch, and Arabonia's Reinford Company. Okay. Two weeks ago, a significant volume of data was uploaded from Heimdall. It's probably heavily encrypted, but I'm sure it holds some clues as to what happened there. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I forgot you didn't know about that. I traced the data transfer, and it was sent to the core terminal of this tower. The Thaumaturgical Sector. It was created as part of the ritual for the Azure Zero project, right? Right. After the annexation, though, the Governor General had it sealed off. Probably because the only ones who can operate it are the Alchemist of the Kreuz family. But somehow, it seems like someone's using it now. Hmm. Well, we can figure that out later. Right now, we gotta focus on what we came here for. We need to find out what happened in Heimdall that day, and what they're planning now. Whatever it is, it must have something to do with what's going on behind the scenes in Erebonia. We can't even start putting together a plan to help until we have a clear picture of what that is. We're counting on you, Estelle. Yeah. You as well, Joshua and Ren. Yeah, we'll be counting on you too. We're gonna do our best! <laughs> Maybe I'll finally get to have some real fun here. 
I think it's Ren's voice is what I imagined Estelle's voice sounding like. Orcus Tower, 20th floor. Aha! It's been all cutscenes so far, yes. Alright, save progress. Yada yada. Level 85. Alright. That's right, him with his tonfa. Look at the size of that gun. Vantage Master's time. Hell yeah. There she is. Estelle. Oh, the gladiator belt. Hell yeah. Oh, and he's got the gladiator headband. I'm not sure I want to put... Honestly, I feel like I want to put... Ren in instead of Ellie, but I don't know. I'll, I'll have a try with this first. All right, what do we have? Okay. Megalith Ball. I mean, the levels are so high because it's the fourth game in the series, I imagine. Okay, so she's my healer. Uh, I guess she's not my only healer, but... Albion Wolf? Holy shit. Okay, so... Rigid and Keeper. The lower your remaining HP, the less damage you receive. Okay. Oberon. Prevents ailments and stat down. Okay. Automatically recover. Oh, Sophia. Yeah, I remember. Gold. Break damage. Zephyr and Tempest. Fiana. Virgo. Okay. So I can't actually change anybody's augments or anything. Oh, some of my... Some of my DLC is working. Oh, yeah, but not the... Um... Not the other DLC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raging Hammer. Oh, 300% break damage. Man, I'm gonna need to remember just so much about this. Tactics. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, everybody's linked level 5. Do we have any costumes or anything? No. Oh, I can actually change the reserve. I remember this thing. Right, there was one thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to change this back down. So that I could actually turn it up on the mixer. I think the only reason more of my DLC works than yours is because these first four are paid DLCs. Like, I, I paid for these four, and then the rest of them are all the free ones. So, Barrage, Blackfang, and 
We're in the normal cross now. Uh, that's not what I was looking for, was it? No. The Phantom Raid is still the same. Impede and delay in a line. Okay, I remember that move. I think I remember Black Fang as well, but... Alright. Let's just... Let's just see what we got. Let's save now so we don't have to watch all of that again. Now, the question is, do I go back to the main menu and actually read the summary of what the hell happened in CS3? There's a way to change characters, right? It's my turn. Aha. Right. Um, well. Wait. No, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted this one. Okay. There we go. Alright, I'll have one battle first. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. What's this thing do again? Oh, it heals. Why is there a heal point here? Literally haven't had a fight. Uh, no, this is just the the prologue. Whoa. So it's kind of like a a separate thing. When it actually gets into the main game proper, um, so we'll probably this is the result pick up the, the story with Reen again. At a glance, it doesn't seem like it's in full operation. Yeah. When I infiltrated this place two years ago, it was glowing with an eerie energy. That's right. Back then, it was draining mana from all of Crossbell. Mana. Hmm. It might not be at full power, but it's definitely been turned on. Something's coming. Be careful, everyone. <gasps> oh, here we go. Golems! Guess we found a couple of the alchemist little toys. Ready your Arcus 2s for battle. Let's link up and destroy the targets. Right. We should try out Brave Orders while we're at it. Kia, stand back. Okay. I'm still gonna help from the sidelines, though. Bring it! Alright, active combatants each take action on their turn. After doing so, the ally or enemy below them in the battle order takes their turn. The character at the top of the bar takes their turn. After acting, the character will move down the bar. There are a variety of bonuses that can appear on different turns. Effects such as HP, e heal, and critical are just some of those bonuses. Okay, so heal, EP heal, CP up, EP up. Critical, step it up. Guard break. Oh, zero arts and brave orders zero. Okay, yeah, I remember those. Alright. That's up to issue a brave order. Brave orders cost BP to use and provide special uh, buffs to allies without consuming a turn. The number indicates how many turns your party is affected. Uh, you can issue a new brave order while counts of the old ones still remain. Only one order can be issued per turn, but you can issue the same order multiple times during battle. 
Okay, so 50% damage reduction, CP plus 50. That's not bad. So it drastically reduces AT delay and raises CP gained. Okay. Reduces casting time and grants acceleration. Okay. Break damage restores 40% HP. Uh, boosts CP efficiency and grants acceleration. Targets enemy weak points to maximize uh, to the maximum with a big cheer. Okay, so she can guarantee crits. Uh, I guess we want to... Raging Hammer? I guess I want to try and break them. Break them! Break Raging them. Hammer! I mean, it had a heal attached to it, but... Triangle to perform crafts. Crafts cost CP to perform. By dealing and receiving damage, you will gain CP. Crafts are special combat skills unique to each character. Okay, so the delay on this doesn't actually matter. Wait, can I not S craft? Oh, I can S craft. Hmm, I don't know if I want to though. A square to use arts. Arts require time to cast, consume EP. Arts can be used by setting a course for master quartz. Attack arts and support arts. This shows how effective the arts of each element will be against the enemy. Earth arts deal only 80% of their damage. Fire arts deal 160. Wind deals 120. Okay. Except it doesn't tell me that. Oh, I guess it does tell me that. Man, I really... I really don't know what to do here. I, I've forgotten everything about how to play these games. Can I, can I get them with a two? Mm, no, I can't get both of them. Oh, what is going on? I'm not even touching the... Not even touching the stick right now. Man, I really need to get a new controller. All right, let's try this. Yes! Miss! It's my turn! Okay, faint seal. This goes in a line. This, isn't this the one that turns him into a tornado? Okay. Rising sun. So, break B. So this actually has a break of S, so let's try. Zero breaker! It's my turn. Okay. Fire! Now's the time! My turn now. Oh, I I couldn't remember what the buttons were. <laughs> Literally could not remember what the buttons were for the assists and stuff. An opening. Gotcha. Leave it to me. Fire. Now's the time. There. Right. Yeah. Moving out. My turn. <laughs> Bring it up. Wait, what more? OK. 
can now swap members of your party. Try swapping one partner with Ren by pressing the right. While Kiri is unable to directly participate in battle, she can offer support via Ready orders. To go. All right, so let's swap you out for Ren. Swapping characters many times do you want over the course of the battle, but only once per turn. Okay. It's so up we'll to try... you, if you insist. Try Ren. Now I need to link her with Estelle. Oh, she is linked with Estelle. <laughs> um, Calamity throw. 50% chance of KOing everything. Let's... That... Ah, it's just Raging Hammer again. Like them. Raging Hammer! <laughs> now then. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. It's time we entertained our guests. Double sight. Round and round. Up you go. Oh damn. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was one of the coolest looking S uh S crafts I've ever seen. So you have no idea about this game. It's the first time seeing this series. I'm glad that my voice is so enjoyable to listen to. Um, but yeah, this is like the ninth game in the series. So it might be a little bit Fire! of a struggle to uh, like keep up with everything that's going on. Let's go. My turn. Yes. Now's the time. There. You're finished. Finishing blow. Some great work out there, Ellie. We did it. Thanks in no small part to you, Lloyd. That's right. strong for being a bunch of walking rocks did they even get an attack off i don't think they even right. got an attack off and i'm sure we can expect even stronger foes from this point on man you two really are something i can certainly see why you're both in line for a promotion to a rank oh thanks Shara and agate can still run circles around us though agate and compared to the divine blade of wind we're practically amateurs enough with the false modesty you two we know what you're capable of no kidding. And your skills with that scythe are no joke either, Ren. Yeah, that S-Craft that Ren did is probably one of my favorites. Yeah, you're super cool. That was so good. <laughs> you're making me blush. To be honest, though, I feel like I've gotten pretty rusty since my days as an enforcer. Right. You used to be with Ouroboros. And you as well. Isn't that right, Joshua? Yeah. Back then, I was known as Enforcer Number 13, the Black Fang. Let's see if I can remember what Ren's Enforcer number was. Wasn't she quite a high one? Like... She was like 7 or 15 or something. I was Enforcer Number 15, the Angel of Slaughter. Hey. It's embarrassing to think I actually used to go by that title, though. Don't buy it, Sky. You will literally never play this game. You'll play the prologue, and then you'll just never play the game after that. You'll be like, oh, yeah, I want to play the part with Estelle, but I don't want to play the part with Reen. So you'll just never play it past the prologue, if you even do play it. 
Well, I'm just glad we're on the same side now. It's not. It's not worth it. I'll do my best to keep up with all of you. Glad to have you along with us. You too, Kia. That order you used earlier was straight up amazing. You didn't use an order. No prob. I've got your back. According to the data Yona managed to grab, the central terminal is on the top floor of this area. That's where we'll find the intel we're looking for. Got it. It's been two years since the SSS and Bracer Guild collaborated on a mission. But now, we're back in action. We've got quite a climb ahead of us, so let's get moving. Right! Ready, everyone? Go, go, go! Let's begin. All right, combat begins when you walk into enemies on the field. Press X to attack enemies on the field. An attack from the front will cause an enemy to pause briefly. And an attack from behind the enemy will be stunned. Some enemies can be stunned by attacks from the front. Double advantage, advantage, standard, enemy advantage. Okay. Press R2 to spend assault points and perform an assault attack. Combat begins the moment an assault attack hits an enemy, allowing for a triple advantage. Okay. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Ready to go! Let's go! Yes! Gotcha. Maybe a hundred arch? It's my yeah. From what Let's I've seen now. of the Kroy's family out. schematics, it's not exactly right. correct. Alright. Stop it, Sky. Don't do it. How do I... How do I go back to the main menu? Moving out. Let's go. It's my turn. My turn now. How do How do I How do I get back to the main menu? Can you even get back to the main menu? Do I have to reset the game to get back to the main menu? Help me get back to the main menu. Oh, maybe. Aha! Legend. All right. I I need to I need to read this summary. I need to know what happens. I cannot remember what happened in Cold Steel 3 whatsoever. Oh my god, it's really going to tell it like a story. Oh my god. It's really going to do it like this. Uh, yeah, 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 uh, Valimar, Ashton Chevalier, yeah, 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 I decided he was going to be a teacher at the branch campus, yada, 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 yeah, that's true, I should, all right, how, how do I, all right, yeah, this, 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 this part doesn't matter, all right, so, I mean, I, I pretty much know all of this, so I'm, I'm just going to go from, like, chapter four onwards. All right. Sweltering heat. Range up by the keep. Interesting conversation with Schmidt. A name known friends. Very for to have died in an explosion ten years prior. Not only was Franz the first, first disciple, he was the inventor of the Panzer Soldats and Alyssa's father. He knew about that. 
Uh, the branch campus is in fun. Heimdall, Summer Festival. Is there any Jaeger Corps? Uh, branch campus is supposed to assist with local security. Means spoke to his friends. Reunion. Oh, that's right. They had a party, didn't they? And the sold out training. Altina. Okay, Altina didn't exit her mech. Oh, that's right. She went a little bit crazy, didn't she? You know, appeared to be in a trance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they were being recorded by a drone from Star Wars. And uh, Governor Regnitz. Cedric, yada yada. Okay, that that stuff. Oh yeah, the Chancellor was still a around at this point. I recognize three of them. I don't know who the last one is. I know there's Chi Chi, Beto, and... Uh, I think that's supposed to be Ningguan. I don't know who the bottom left one is. Ah, Thomas Lysander. Lysander the Partitioner. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. The church is... Yeah. I remember now. The church has their own, like, secret order of badasses. Hercules squad. Oh, that's right. They they were like wasn't it something like they were kidnapping people and like brainwashing them into like attacking people? died. Definitely dead. Crow is 100% dead. Oh man, I hope Aureli is still in this game. She was one of my favorite characters from the last one. Dara! Yeah, that's right.
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, I, I remember I remember this stuff for the most part. They decided to st stop the war. They went back into the tunnels. Oh, that's right. Randy was uh, part of the staff. He was under, like, house arrest. No, 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 no. There's no way Azure Siegfried is Crow. No, 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 no. Crow's dead. Definitely not Crow. How dare you? Okay, they went into the tunnels to investigate... Crimson Roselia, the elder of the Hexen clan. That's right. And she has something to do with... Oh, that's right. She's, um... Oh, what was it? Like... I want to say Emma's... Grandmother? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, sort of. Sort of, but not really, but sort of. Yeah, that's true. It was kind of, uh... Just... Not so much, it wasn't nothing, but... It was kind of inconsequential for the most part, other than some people showing up to make you fight a mech. Roselia cast a spell, the dark dragon disappeared, they found themselves back in the tunnels. Uh, Azure Siegfried, who's definitely not Crow. About Siegfried one on one. We reached a stalemate. Marine confronted Siegfried about his true identity Crow Armbrust. And he started to agitate the masked man, he summoned the Azure Knight, and teleported away. Ceremony, yada yada. Oh, that's right. And then we were at the uh, the stadium, and we had a chat with uh, Elliot's dad. Is it his dad? Wait, and then didn't we find out that... I can't remember if it was in CS2 or it was in CS3, but we found out that Reen is Osborne's son. Oh, that was in 2. Okay, yeah. That's right. Eugen the third. Okay. Right. True set of the black records. Yada yada. He'd done nothing to hinder the Chancellor's plans. Oh, that's right. And then they had a meeting, right?
Uh, went on to explain the details of Oroboros' Phantasmal Blaze plan. They had used the false phantasm in Crossbell to awaken the sleeping blaze in Erebonia, one of the legendary Septarians. That was not one, but two. The, Sep the Septarian is... The, the robot, right? Or am I wrong about that? During the attack on their home 14 years ago, Reen's heart had been pierced by a shard of debris. In order to save him, Osborne had given Reen his own heart. Oh... Uh... And that's when Ash then killed Eugen, or shot Eugen. Okay, so that happened, and then... Uh, martial law was declared... I just gather info. Charles Rosman declared that the infiltration of Heimdall by Kavadian agency attempt assassination of the Emperor was no less than a declaration of war, despite the fact that it wasn't. They were using him as a scapegoat. The spirit veins. <laughs> Thomas was waiting for them. He revealed his true title to them all as the second dominion of the Graalschlitter. Gaius then introduced himself as the successor. Oh, that's right. Completely forgot about that as well. He was the eighth Dominion. I completely forgot about that. Oh, and then this is where she tells the story of the two um brothers fighting each other, right? In the war, and then... Yeah. The Divine Knights. Based on how much you forgot, surprisingly. Hey, I did play this game, alright? At some point. Look, it's been over a year, okay? Can you really blame me for, get, for forgetting some stuff? Alright? Chancellor as far as the reverse members, they saw George, who had been missing for some time. Oh, that's right. So George is there. And... Oh, Claire is there because she's part of the intelligence division, right? She works with Lecter. Then Sharon's there because she's part of Ouroboros again. You got Shirley... 
Uh, oh. What's, uh... What's that woman's name? Like, one of the leaders of, uh... Ouroboros. She was in the Crossbell games. She wears that massive suit of armor. She's got, uh... Like, fucking Roadhouse or whatever her name is. Arianard, that's that's the one. Yeah, her. I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh yeah, and she has uh Duvali the Swift. See, I remember Duvali. I remember her. Just didn't remember her boss. <laughs> Black Albrecht. Recognize him as her father, Franz Reinford. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Okay, so then they went inside and they had a fight against why can I not remember that guy's name with the blue hair oh that's right iron bloods yeah it's not part of the intelligence network it's the iron bloods he's the I icy maiden And Lecter is Scarecrow, and Rufus was something. Yeah, it's Claire, Rufus, and Lecter are the Iron Bloods, right? With Milliam. I seem to remember there being. Was there more than four? Unfortunately, it's the whole drown the world in conflict. Okay. Old Tina Orion. Holy Beast awoke. We had a fight. Oliver, Viscount, Arsaid, and Tovo. Put out a device. Oh, that's right. Green's about to get eaten. Beast was unfazed. Okay. Here comes Milliam. Uh, Gatlam. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, 
Majesty Freeze's mask fell to the ground, revealing the face beneath. And finally regained his memories, Crow descended to the lowest level of the grot. Wait, he regained his memories? All right, uh, I really don't remember that. <laughs> As I held Valimar back, uh, Prince Cedric then boarded the Vermilion Knight. Osborne called out his own knight, Ishmelga, the Ebon Knight. Now, Reen, let us begin. Together we shall write the end to this wretched fairy tale in ink black as despair. Oh, yeah, and then that's when the game ended. I remember that. Yeah, because there's a clip of me reacting to that ending and I was just like what you can't just end it like that you bastards hey good morning cookie how you doing all right we're in we're ready to go Yes, back to Estelle. Yeah. Is it facing facing me or facing away from me? Okay. Finish them quick. It only gets Okay. Ooh. Let's go. That's a pretty spicy attack you've got there. Oh, they do? Mm -hmm. Maybe I should bring her in. Guy, don't buy this game. You won't play it. There's literally no point. I left on holiday for a week and you and your brother had some stuff to do and you you didn't do any of it and now you've got a day to do it nice Give him hell. break them raging hammer break them Well, that did almost nothing. Thank you. 
Oh, man. Oh, there we go. The finishing blow. Oh, God. Somebody got attacked. Now then. Kill him dead. Oh. Got attacked again. Are you okay? <laughs> Thanks. Right. Let's go. It's my turn. Yeah. Very well. Wide open. Gotcha. Let's go. Very Solid well. break. There we go. Extermination complete. Man, you guys were super cool. I'm always super cool, Kia. Thank you. Rune makes you want to play Sky so much. Oh, you should. There is no, there is no method to this madness, Sky. Oh, they're going to be in, back in nine hours. And you're going to have to pull an all-nighter. Nice. What kind of stuff do you have to do? Like, if, it, if it's not going to take that long, you might be all right. In this little side room. Oh, never mind. Looks like this door isn't working. Better off ignoring it for now. Back to exploring. I was exploring. That's why I was trying to go in that room. Is procrastination the key to success? I think it's the opposite, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, you can actually combo these. Huh. I didn't realize you could do that. Um, well... Oh, here we go. What the hell is that? Let's have a bit of fun. Combat links. Combat links are a feature likely to be vital importance in the battles ahead. By linking with another character, uh, by one another, characters can unbalance enemies and assist with powerful follow-up attacks, such as finishing blow. Stronger link attacks will become available as characters continue to fight together. You can say who is linked with whom during battle. Uh, Celine613, thank you for the follow. Okay, so follow up attacks and stuff. Alright, zero arts. Don't hurt. Aren't her arts really bad, though? Break them! Raging Hammer! Raging Hammer! Oh, okay. Oh, that's a cool looking move. Wait, why did that say resist? Oh, damn. 
You bloody succeeded on all of them. Yes. That was crazy. Wait, Holy Bullet affects her again. I seem to remember that one of them was... I think it was the second Crossbell game where Holy Bullet got nerfed because it didn't affect herself. But I guess they unnerfed it and made it affect her again. Shastel, you need to chill out. I have no idea where she puts that staff after the battle. I don't I don't think I wanna know. How's the situation in the bow? Herobonia's government is exerting more pressure. The worst it's ever been. They've att uh, attributed Olivia's death. Uh, and the attempt on the Emperor's life to the Republic of Calvard. They're haranguing the Queen to terminate diplomatic relations with Calvard every day. Thought so, and I'm guessing the Empire is demanding that Lebeau allows passage for their troops to march on Calvard? Exactly. The troops would enter through Hacken Gate, move south to Wolf Fort, and invade southwestern Calvard from there. Other routes include the Nord Highlands and Dremeth area. Jonah was talking about a speech in Heimdall or something. Our Operation Jorman... Jorman... Gan? Oh. Oh, God. Name comes from a mythical world-swallowing serpent. They're making Crossbell the main front of the war, but this serpent has more than one head. They'll invade Calvard via every route they can get. We braces are doing what we can to stop it. There might not be much we can do when we're up against the whole country, or at least trying to minimize the impact. Our dad and Chloe are looking into ways to counter Operation Yormungan. In the meantime, we're acting independently, responding as the situation develops. I'm worried by the fact that we don't know what the society's plans are. Last I heard, they were at odds with the Imperial government, but they've gone quiet. Well, that's just why I decided to come along. I've got a promise to keep with Tita, after all, and that aside, I was worried about letting Estelle run loose on her own. We probably would have been fine. You probably just wanted to br uh, break from school. I have to admit, you dug up some pretty useful intel. Crossbell's getting involved. It's for the best you're with us. You might have been given the okay by the guild to join the mission as a collaborator, but try not to cause too much mischief while you're here, okay? Heh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really nice they all get, a, uh, get along so well. Her dad's the commander of LaBelle's army, and he's also the former S-rank bracer, the Divine Blade, who led the cult purges. And he has a glorious mustache! Not quite Tom Selleck levels, but, you know. The whole family is remarkable in every way. You can see why Erebonia considers them a serious threat. Weapon types and unbalancing. Okay, link attacks can only occur when the enemy is unbalanced, the success rate of which is decided by the weapon type used to deal damage. 
squishy monsters are more easily unbalanced by Joshua's slash damage and hard-shelled monsters by Estelle's thrust damage. Other types include Pierce, strong versus flying enemies, and Strike, strong versus rock type enemies. Each character deals different types of damage. Okay. Critical damage and unbalancing. Attacks taken on a turn with a critical bonus have a 100% chance of unbalancing the enemy. Taking advantage of this at the right time would be the key to victory. Okay, does it tell me anywhere uh, what the different symbols are? Where, where are the symbols? Combat links. Yeah, it doesn't actually tell me what the symbols are, does it? It just says... Does anyone know what these symbols are? Oh, it will later. Okay. Oh, that's all right then. Man, I can't even remember what happened in CS3. Do you think I'm going to be able to remember anything about CS1? Seems we've hit the perimeter. Right. Each of these sectors connects back to the central room. From what our little hacky friend told us, there should be a shortcut around here. You mean like a secret tunnel? Yeah! Here's our shot! Triple advantage. What? Let's go. Break them. Raging hammer. Right. Let's go. Oh, I shouldn't have. Uh, I shouldn't have done it to that one. <laughs> now then. I should have attacked the other one. Ah. Back off. Oh, damn. <laughs> now then. Yeah. Our chance. Gotcha. Leave it to me. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Some actually, great work out there, Ellie. We did it. Thanks, and no small. I, sh I shouldn't have done that. I should have. Um... I should have yeah. waited for Estelle to get the ten percent heal. Alright, let's see if we can get the uh, KO chance again. Dance for me. Oh. It's my turn. What was that? Two out of three? Two out of three ain't bad. Will heal after every turn. Does she have my turn now? I guess she has a thing. Right. I guess it's one of her quartz. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. 
this. Fire! Oh! <laughs> now then. I really want to try this move, but I don't want to waste so much Damn CP. Team. Oh, there we go. We got another one. Right. Fifty percent, apparently. Get him. No problem. Leave it to me. Huh. Let's go. Hey, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it up. Thanks. <laughs> now then. Hey, zero order. So. 40% HP. We could probably restore 40% HP. Alright, let's go. Raging Hammer! <laughs> now then. Huh. Right! Huh. Yes! Huh. Nice. It's my turn! Yeah. Huh. Like I didn't even take damage. Taking care of. So I guess I'm supposed to go... Ready to roll. I'm supposed to go up the ladder? Yeah, it looks like I'm supposed to go... This is probably another locked door. Yeah, door is locked. <laughs> Not the classiest way to get around. But it'll do. Yeah, well. Maybe we'll find something ritzier than an emergency action. That's what you get for playing CS3. <laughs> On New Game Plus with a max level party. Brave Soul. Eh, maybe I should save here. Just in case. I don't want to get killed during the prologue, you know? Oh, new enemy type again. I think it's kind of cool looking. S crafts. S crafts are special crafts that deal immense damage but consume all of the user's CP in the process. At least 100 CP is required to use an S craft, though its power is amplified when the user has 200 CP available. S crafts can be used instantly by pressing R1, regardless of the user's placement in the turn order list. Uh, cannot use, can use max power by pressing R1 in the directional. Oh, yeah, S, uh, they're called S breaks, aren't they? Yeah. Whoa! Got mass cross by using the R1. Won't let you. Yeah. All right. Not a chance. When an attack misses, the target will counter attack if the attacker is in range. How is that move one target only? Not a chance. Very well. Oh, we finally got a turn. Holy shit, that thing has so much HP. What the hell? Right. Why does that thing have so much HP? turn 
Oh, I just noticed the stell's paralyzed. How's the break looking on this thing? Wait, isn't there one that heals all of my... DP plus 50. No, it's just heal HP, I guess. Raging Hammer! My turn now. So if we attack, <laughs> then we it ends here. Rising Sun. Rising Sun. The dragon! Oh, I didn't need to do that. Why did I do that? Cancel! Cancel! It's time we entertained our guests. Round and round! Yeah, I'm not quite sure why it's called Wheel of Time. Oh, yeah, see, Big Wheel would have been good. I like that. It tried changing should to syphilis again. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I actually really like Ren's S-Craft. Probably my favorite new one. Or favorite one I've seen so far. Uh, has conscription already started in Crossbell? No sooner had they officially announced the campaign than draft cards started going out. The Governor General's office already had a list of conscripts ready based on the latest census. The one they took for the 8 Metropolis plan, right? It provided the government with information on material assets as well as population data and the number of men eligible to be drafted. Yeah, I've got to admit, the Empire really benefits from such calculating statesmen. Such as Rufus Alborea and the Blood and Iron Chancellor Giliath Osborne. Yeah, those two bastards. They've appropriated Ouroboros' Phantasmal Blaze plan for their own purposes. It seemed like Rufus and Osborne were in opposite factions in the Imperial government, but I guess they're working together now. That's right, because Rufus was on our side. And then he switched over to Osborne's side when it was revealed that he was one of the Iron Bloods. Rufus was actually one of Osborne's hand-picked aides, the primary one in fact. They called the Iron Blood. Chancellor's got Iron Bloods in the Intelligence Division and the Railway Military Police too. So the intelligence division one is Lecter, right? And the railway railway military police one is Claire. Chloe even knows one of them. Oh yeah. Lecter. You know what I mean? Like he he was on our side, you know, quote unquote on our side. That guy who graduated from the Royal Academy. Practically a living legend there. He's one of the school's most accomplished student council presidents, despite having its most abysmal attendance record. I remember him. He's that red-haired guy, right? That's him, all right? Major Lecter Arundel, also known as the Scarecrow. I saw him talking with Crown Prince Claudia at the trade conference. Oh, that's right. Chloe is... Chloe is Claudia. Yeah. He and the other Iron Bloods really had their 
uh, had our number during Operation Birdcage. Curious to know the part they played in what happened in Heimdall. It'd be a good idea to dig into that. It could give us more insight into what Osborne's planning. We owe it to Olivia to get to the bottom of this. I mean, we know what he's planning. He wants to invade Calvard for some reason. Hiya! Easy. Break them! Raging Hammer! Covered instantly. And he gets another attack? What? <laughs> now then. Wide open. Gotcha. What are you doing? Stop that. Back off. Yeah, get out of here. Right. I get three of them in here? Mm, come on. Come on. Oh, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Just just, just a little just a just a tad no, just just a slight Come on. Just Oh, I don't think it's possible. Fine. Fine. I mean, yes, 100% chance to crit, but it does take four points. Ah, yeah, screw it. I can get some points back no by... Uh, Doing it like this. Yeah. Now's the time. There. Oh, so close to breaking. Uh. <laughs> now then. Huh. Uh. Back off. I mean, that's kind of annoying. Right. Hey. Huh. They're open. The fact that he was broken there meant that the, I didn't get the uh, the follow up it's from the crit, yeah. Now's the time. which is kind of annoying. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Very well. Ha! 
Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> good day and goodbye. Why is Subway so expensive? Uh, I don't know actually. Would be nice if it was a little bit cheaper. Oh, is that an elevator? Oh, if that's an elevator, I'm definitely, uh, definitely saving. Can't imagine how this is on Nightmare. Normal, these guys were still quite tanky. It's actually not too bad, to be fair. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than this. But now that I've said that, completely screwed up. I'm going to die in the next fight. And no, you should absolutely try to set up an evasion tank as soon as possible. <laughs> Oh, what the? Watch yourselves. This will be tough. Oh, he gets a crit here. Oh. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to phantom raid. And then I'm going to wait for that crit down the bottom there to show up. And then I'm going to break into Lloyd's. I will not falter again. Which I think is up. No, it's left. Ready? Phantom Ray! Rest in peace. Not a chance! Not a chance! Oh, wow. <laughs> nah, there we it go. Is here. Tom? Rising! Oh, I should have used a brave order. You're right. I forgot about brave orders. Like this one. No, 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 no! no. We're just raging hammer. Raging hammer! Cause it heals me. It's my turn. Yeah. They're off guard. There. Moving out. Yeah, we need to get rid of this guy. What? There was supposed to be a delay there. I was actually going to get all three. Oh, damn. Let's do this. An opening. Gotcha. Leave it to me. I probably didn't need to holy bullet there, but I will anyway. Oh god! I've got this. Oh, zero order. Hell yeah! Give me the crit. Ready to go. 
An opening. Gotcha. Build up that BP. Let's go. go. Get him. Too slow. Let's go. Hey. They're open. I got you. What the hell happened there? She this. just didn't exist for a little while there. It's my turn. Stay strong, everyone. Thanks, thanks. Thanks. Let's go. Yeah. They're down. Too slow. Man, you're really on top of your game. <laughs> I always am when I'm with you. Ellie is tired. So tired she didn't exist on the battlefield for a second. <laughs> That's the one. And thank you for the follow, Ladino Crow. Alright, I feel like nice. something just I level up. It. Yeah. <laughs> I've done it. Lloydo Beningus leveled. Here's more where that came from. Everybody there leveled. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's only natural. Even Ren, who wasn't even in the fight. There was one other thing I wanted to ask you about, Lloyd. You've met that uh, Ashen, uh, Ashen Chevalier guy, right? What's he like in person? Ah, uh, him. Is he the guy who pilots that extra pointy grey robot? Yeah, his name is Reen Schwarzer. I did some digging, and it seems like he was a student at Thor's Military Academy, currently employed as an, uh, as an instructor at its branch campus. He practices the eight leaves, one blade style of swordsmanship, and the machine he pilots is called a Divine Knight. I heard a few things about him from some friends of mine in Erebonia. I'm not really sure what to make of the guy. Not everything paints him in a real good light, you know? What do you mean? Well, the fact that he uses some sort of demonic power in battle, for starters. And on top of that, there's a rumor that he's the son of the Blood and Iron Chancellor. Are you serious? It's the first I've heard of it. Well, the folks at Bracer uh, Guild HQ seem to be convinced it's the truth. As far as I can tell, it seems like this Schwarzer guy has mostly been opposing the Chancellor. Either way, though, he's definitely involved with whatever's been going on behind the scenes in Erebonia. That's why we've been tasked with collecting information about him as part of this mission, to determine just how much power he wields and what part it might play in current events. I don't know him personally, but I don't think he's a bad person. I met one of his former classmates once, and she seemed to hold him in high regard. Hmm, I've caught a glimpse of him a couple of times. He's Randy's co-worker and Yuna's homeroom teacher, right? Oh, that's right. <laughs> they did the fist bump on the train. Oh, that was so dumb. <laughs> oh, it was so dumb. That's right, those two seem to like him. Based on Tita's letter, he sounds like a big softie who can't stop himself from helping people. In her words, he puts the needs of others before his and looks after his students. Though I agree that his strange powers in relation to the Chancellor are concerning. I've only run into him twice. Beyond that, I've heard about him in passing from Randy and Tio. I agree there are some details about him that are suspicious, but I think we can trust him. Same goes for his classmates and students in Class 7. They're all doing their best to clear away the dark clouds hanging over the continent, just like we are. You're right, Lloyd. That's encouraging to hear. If you ask me, you're a tad too quick to trust someone you barely know. Eh, it's fine. I'll trust Lloyd's judgment here, so let's believe that Mr. Schwarz is on our side. 
It matches up with what Toval told us too. Besides, Class 7 was founded by Olivia, and he's a good judge of character. Also, he trained under the same master as my dad, so I'm not too worried. I'm kind of curious to meet him now. But at the moment, our top priority is finding Tita and Agat. Yeah. It's okay, I get the feeling all that stuff's connected. It's like they're all puzzle pieces in the same jigsaw. I hope so. Your optimism really is contagious here. It really is. And she usually ends up being right when it comes to things like this. Not quite the same as when she had the Septarian's power, but she can still sense certain things. It's kind of like, rather than seeing the future, I can see the connections between things. Even so, that's amazing. You can visualize causality? That's still a pretty godlike power if you ask me. I might have a plan or two on how to put it to good use, if you don't mind helping me out. Of course, just give me the word. Keep moving. According to Yona, the main terminal is on the top floor of this area. The data we're looking for is here. That's where we'll find it. It's head straight there. Don't let anything slow you down. I never do. I'm ready. I must feel bad for all the golems in our path. Nice. Spirit incense. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Hey, Andre. How you doing? Wait, I can actually talk to. Ah. Didn't know I could talk to her. Oh, Arasing's not here, is he? I was going to ask him if I use these items, do I not get these items? in the main game. Yeah, you would grind everybody up to like level 100 in the prologue, despite the fact that it's probably not going to carry anything over. You wouldn't even fight the boss of this area. We should count ourselves lucky that this place isn't fully up and running right now. That's right. It would have taken us at least twice Honestly, as long if it was. Honestly, Sky, never buy this game. Yeah. Seriously, never buy this game. Wait, whose voice? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Joshua's voice. Uh, yes, yes, it is. There's a there's a lot of lot of big names in this. Oh boy. Why is it glowing like that? light show i'd say this is it yes this is where all that data from heimdall ended up it must have been installed recently it wasn't here two years ago are you ready ren but of course but of course your help for this next part, Kia. Oh my god, the laptop has cat ears. You got it. What should I do? 
According to Four Eyes, this terminal uses a system made with the same astral code that Ouroboros uses. It's a five-dimensional spirit code. A lifetime wouldn't be enough to try all the combinations. But with your help, we should be able to skip ahead 81 steps or so. Oh, I get it now. You want me to matricize the exterior of space-time, right? Yes. Yes, that's exactly what we want you to do, whatever that is. Exactly. Let's get started. Are these kids even speaking our language? The heck is a five-dimensional code? Astral code. Huh. It's the system Ouroboros uses for its communications. Right. And it seems the Kreuz family applied it to their ritual. I still don't understand why that data from Heimdall was sent here of all places. It's simple, really. It's because I requested it of the Governor General and a certain source. Uh-oh. Oh. I couldn't even sense them coming. Are you? Not Claire. She's from the RMP. Uh-oh. I'm Claire Revelt, Railway Military Police. I recognize the two of you, Lloyd Bannings and Ellie McDowell. Think you'll find that's Lloyd O. Beningus? You must be Estelle Bright, meaning the one with you is Joshua Bright, correct? Who? Now, you must have us mixed up with some other people. If it's all the same, I think we'll avoid confirming our identities for now. Oh, that's perfectly fine. I'm actually quite impressed you were able to pinpoint this terminal's location. I suppose the Faceless taught you well. What did you say? Wait, I recognize you. A key figure in Ouroboros' 13 Factories project, you led a team of gnomes in Erebonia. But then you betrayed the society to join forces with the Blood and Iron Chancellor, didn't you? Chief of the Black Workshop? <laughs> Precisely. Albrecht of the Black Demise. I worked closely with the former Third Anguis of Ouroboros, the Faceless. Also, what's his name? Franz? Franz Reinford? I even had him test my automated miniature combat shells. He proved very useful in the Hommel project as well. Hard to believe that was 14 years ago. What are you talking about? Does that mean you helped the professor start the Hundred Days War? Seems like there's still a lot of buried secrets. I'm guessing the data here is the key to dragging the rest of the skeletons out of your closet. Oh, yeah, I couldn't remember who the Faceless was. I was like, hmm, do we know who the Faceless is? Yeah, we know we know who the Faceless is, right? But yeah, good old Georgie Weissman. Yes, actually. If you can break the code, then by all means, do whatever you wish with the data. Yeah, he got, um, he got salted up by that green-haired guy from the third Sky game. Why can't I remember his name? He has a really cool, uh, S-Craft, and I can't remember what his name is. Heaven. Ah, however, before you can do Ooh, I didn't that, like at the beginning of the third the Sky game. Of us. But I, he actually grew on me a lot. The three of you? No way. Oh! <laughs> Why, hello there, everyone. Long time no see. Oh, piss <gasps> off. Not her. Ah, ah, ah. It's Karen from Street Fighter. <gasps> Why? What are you doing here, Belle?
Maria Bell, the Wellspring Alchemist. Oh, don't alchemist. be like that. It's been a while since we've seen each other. Two years or so. And it looks like you're up to your neck in trouble. Just like I knew you'd be. Bell! So you finally come back to Crossbell. But what are you doing with these two? Shouldn't you be fighting the Imperial government? Oh? Did you not get the memo? Ouroboros is now allied with Mr. Blood and Iron, or... Perhaps it would be more accurate to say Ouroboros surrendered to him. <laughs> Junko! Hello. You barely remember her from the Crossbell games. Uh, she was the daughter, I think, of the guy who took over from Ellie's dad as the mayor, I think. Say what? Since when does the society just roll over like that? If that's the case, then what happened in Heimdall? Yes, Ian was the lawyer who killed Lloyd's brother. And yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. Yes, it was a declaration of the alliance between Chancellor Osborne and Ouroboros. The beginning of the Great Twilight. The Great Twilight? It's all coming back to me now. It's all that's coming back to me. That's one heck of a creepy name. Oh, now I get it. So that's what that weird black Honestly, wave Honestly, that's was. that's what most of today is going to be. Most of today is going to be, "Oh, I remember that character. I remember when that happened." Oh, you could see it even though you lost your powers as a septarian. My family's little pet project continues to impress. He is not just some project. It's okay, Ellie. It's true that I started out as a project. But that aside, there are some things I'm grateful to Belle for. It's thanks to her that I was able to meet you, Lloyd, and everyone else. Ah, uh, Kia. I'm glad we met too, Kia. You really have grown up, and in such a short time. In any event, I'm surprised to see the Bright family here too. Hey, we haven't confirmed our identities I'm yet. I'm particularly pleased to meet you, number 15, the Angel of Slaughter. The pleasure's all mine. I've been wanting to meet the one who took that twisted professor's spot. I can tell at a glance. You're somehow even more rotten than he was. Oh, dear me! Coming from you, I'll take that as a compliment. Forget about her, Red. Yeah, it's not quite as good as uh, the less hair from Danganronpa 1, is it? Agreed. Right now, we need to focus on getting that data. And if they're here to stop us, we won't hesitate to fight back. Ren, Kia, don't worry. We'll take care of them. <laughs> oh, is that so? We'll just see about that now, won't we? What the? A Star Wars A droid. Shell. Though it's different from the kind the professor used. That black rabbit girl had one of those things too. One might refer to this one as the origin of the other models you've seen. It's a hand. It's been quite some time since I last tested Zoa Balor in battle. I'm very curious to see how it performs against the Divine Blade's daughter, two former enforcers, and the SSS. What the hell? Rosenberg dolls! You made the old man's dolls into your minions? Oh, I just couldn't help myself being an alchemist and all. 
We may both play with dolls, but my tea parties are a little more deadly than yours. Oh, I don't know about that. Please, both of you. That's enough playing around. We're wasting time. They're not actually going to make me fight, are they? Huh? That emblem? I am the Icy Maiden, Claire Revelt. On my authority as a member of the Ironbloods, you're all under arrest for illegally accessing a restricted area. Here they come! Be careful, everyone! Activate combat links! We will overcome this, no matter what! I trust you'll oh, provide yep. me with some valuable data. Apprehending fugitives! <laughs> Do try and make this entertaining! Reduce all enemies' HP to a certain amount. Okay. There. Oh god. Don't give in. Aha. Moving out. All right. Uh Okay, so the other two I don't really have to reduce that much. To be fair, this is the one game where you can say that it's all dialogue. Because it was an hour into the game before we actually got to gameplay. So, yes. It definitely was. Alright, I think I'll do this. And then I'm just going to S-craft the shit out of them. You're finished. Yes! With this one, this one, and this one. Oh, I should have... Fuck, I forgot to order. I will not falter again. I forgot to order. I hate everything. Ready? Phantom Ray! Rest in peace. Oh my god, they've got so much HP. It ends here! Oh. Rising Sun! Uh, can we just try and get Claire out of here? Yeah, let's just try and get Claire out of here. Still standing. I'm impressed. Get out of here. However, uh oh, not a chance. Uh oh. Crumble before me! No! Ah. 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 Keep it up! Thanks! It's my turn. Uh do I go for crits? Do I go for break? Uh, actually, going for breaks is not going to be a good idea. Let's go for... Crit. Yeah, I know. I know he does. Maybe I should go for a reduced damage turn. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a reduced damage turn. Bring it on! Add a man type formation! It's my turn. You have seven minutes left of your lunch break. Please explain the entire st story of the series so far. I probably couldn't explain the entire story of the series so far if I had seven days, let alone seven minutes. Hmm. 
I need to try and figure out a way... Hmm... Wait, there's a delay on using items now? Hold up. I should have used a different order. This is annoying. Here I go. Take this. Twilight lightning. Burn through. Wait, what? I've got this. Why did he not use an R on a zero R turn? Are you dumb? Take this crit. Nightmare means more stats, not better AI. Proof. Again, did barely anything. Where, where's my counter? How's that? Yeah, get him. Leave it to me. Raging Hammer. Adamai, Adamantite again, maybe. No. Hmm. Yeah, we can add, we can add a Mantite again. Yes. That's exactly what happened. Take this. Ready to go. Do I think... Do I think Wheel of Time is going to kill... We'll soon find out. Probably not uh, less than 200. Alright, in that case we'll do this. you're doing you're dead get out of here don't give in thanks so a balor strike how have you not left yet let's see how this treats you let's go 
All right, that bar is definitely past that line. What? should have expected as much, Ellie. Get out. Leave it to me. Stay strong, everyone. Thanks. 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 Moving out. This isn't going to win. What does Impede do again? Let's do this. Impede doesn't stop him from casting, does it? Oh, it does. Twilight Lightning. Burn through. I couldn't remember which I one indeed you. was. <laughs> I've got this. So a balor strike. Can you stop this? Gotcha. No. I got you. Back off. It's my turn. Strong, everyone. Thanks. 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 Let's go. Yeah. Right. Ready to go. There. Twilight lightning. Oh my days. I, th I think I'm gonna be okay. I've got this. Let's go. Satanic claw. How's that? Moving out. Oh, he threw me behind him. It's my turn. Fire! My turn now. He's just getting further and further gotcha. away. What does this do? Has he used this before? Oh, shit. <laughs> what will you make of this? Behold, the advent of your demise. Perish! Luciferian art! <laughs> Oh, okay. Thanks. Yep, we're good. We're Don't good. Give in. Thanks. Yep, we're good. I've got this. We're fine. You know what? Let's um. It's up to you. If you about insist. To Ren. For the lols. It's my turn. What did? What did I just do? Did I defend? I have no idea what I just did. Leave it to me. Stay strong, everyone. Why, thanks. thank you. Thanks. My turn now. <laughs> right. Miss. Pathetic. Oh, shit. It's my turn. So a Balor strike. My turn now. Leave it to me. Stay strong, everyone. I'm not really healing to heal. I'm doing that to get off my CP. Try this. Okay, so if we do this no problem. into this, my turn now. Mm. <laughs> we'll just do them all. Throw it. Attack him. Kill him dead. Rising sun! 
Impossible! Aha. Better than I could have asked for. Got him. Okay, the last matrix is finished. Oh, good. Nice. I've disabled the data protection. Access granted. Beginning download of classified data. Oh my. <laughs> I am certainly impressed. Mm. After all we went through, that better not be just a bunch of junk data. I doubt it. I don't think they had the time to set us up under these circumstances. But the way they're acting, it's like they don't really care if we get this info. But why? Why go to such lengths to cover things up and then let us learn the truth? The truth about what happened in Heimdall, both on the surface and behind the scenes. <laughs> Simple. Because we already achieved our goals there two weeks ago. <laughs> it doesn't make the slightest difference if you learn the details. There's no way to change the outcome. Oh. Download complete. We got it. Well, that kind of sucks. We've secured an escape route. Let's move. Ren, Kia, grab your stuff and start running. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. It was good to see you again, Belle. However, you're the absolute worst. <laughs> <laughs> Why, thank Rude. you. I wholeheartedly agree. Oh, Love oh, you, Ellie. Oh. We'll see each other again soon. <laughs> yeah, Belle's pretty good. Ah, <sighs> that was quite an entertaining encounter. It's not every day you meet so many interesting people. Though it seemed like there was a touch of drama near the end. I suppose so. It's a bit of a long story. But what's between me and the SSS is none of your concern. Don't worry, it won't stop me from helping with the Great Twilight yeah, and the rivalries. Same. same. Though I'm none too pleased about having to work alongside someone who stole hundreds of years of technology from my family. <sighs> <laughs> I take it you're talking about the homunculus technology? Well, you don't have any grounds to complain there. After all, where did the technology for your cradle come from? On top of that, your use of septium veins for the Wisdom Project seems suspiciously familiar. Oh, touché! <laughs> Perhaps we make a good team after all. Perhaps we do. Pardon me. Lecter? Yes, everything is proceeding as planned. Please keep a close eye on the Bracer HQ and the SSS officers' movements. The Icy Maiden, hmm? She certainly piqued my interest. Despite her title, it's clear she can only just barely hold her feelings in. She's walking a thin tightrope. Well, many events have transpired in such a short time. Events both fateful and final that cannot be undone. Right. You take care too. Huh. I haven't checked my private orb mails in a while. This one is from two weeks ago. You should really keep up to date with your emails, Claire. Crazy busy with work soon, so I figured I should send you this now. It's that picture we took together in Heimdall. Oh. I probably should have sent it sooner, but well, oh. I forgot. Oh. 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 It's from when Rain and Milliam helped me with that undercover operation. Oh no. Afterward, we went to go 
get ice cream together and... so icy anymore good afternoon oxy hey, how are you doing what's going on lots this is what really happened in heimdall lots is happening i can't believe this they sacrificed a girl to make some sword and then that schwarzer guy killed a holy beast with it and as a result the Great Twilight began, and the Curse of the End spread throughout the Empire. The third survivor of Hamel? So he was alive after all. How could we not have noticed? We left him behind. Looking at all this, it's clear this war won't just be between Erebonia and Calvert. The other survivor of Hamel was... Crow, right? Oh, Ash. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Every country on the entire continent will be pulled in and devoured. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Got ya. A lot of crazy stuff happened in Heimdall, but I still believe Tio and Randy are okay. Landy Sand. The same for your friends, Tita and Agate, and all of those Class 7 guys, too. Thank you, Kia. Yeah, I know they're just fine. You took another peek at causality, didn't you? I don't know how reliable that is, but it makes me feel a little better. All right, everyone. Now that we have this, we've got a long road ahead of us. Let's get started. Boom. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's finally start the game. Let's gower the prologue. <laughs> Lloyd runs really weird. Like, he runs... Like, straight upwards. The way things are now, war will be in full swing within two months at the latest. If the details about this curse are true, anyway. Yes. I thought it would take at least half a year after conscription started. But if supernatural forces are at work, it may happen much more swiftly. We're gonna go report this info to Guild HQ and the Burl's royal family. How about you guys? We'll share the intel with Calvert and Remiferia. Fortunately, some of our allies happen to be there right now. You mean the Divine Blade of Wind and Yin? We've got our own allies to get in touch with. It's going to be a pain tracking them down. Maybe, but we're gonna find them no matter what. To be fair, I do like Lloyd more than Reen. If each of us helps the others out, if we're all a guiding light for each other, we'll be dozens, no, hundreds of times stronger. Did you... <laughs> Sky, stop it. Stop talking about buying this game. Stop it. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yes, you're absolutely right. Be each other's guiding light, huh? I like the sound of that. Sounds pretty sappy to me. But I guess I get the idea. <laughs> That's the right idea for sure, Kia. And I'm proud of you, Ren. If you get it, then that means you've really matured. Ugh, cut it out, Estelle. I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> You'll always be our little sister. Aw, how sweet. <laughs> oh. We can definitely do this. The running fish we have bump. to, to protect what matters to each of us. There's no way we're letting this world come to an end. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh my god, that's so weird. Right now, it's hard to say what Class 7's next move's going to be. But we'll do whatever we can to be a guiding light for them too. Yeah, if you haven't... If you haven't played the Crossbell games, then it would be a little bit difficult to say whether Lloyd is better than Reen. But having played the Crossbell games, Lloyd's great. Lloyd Obeningus.
Wait, so these guys don't get individual frames, but everybody else does? Aurelia! Time to work some more, you're gonna look. Alright, Oxy. Have fun. Oh, Campanella. Darren! That's right, McBurn. That's why that's what his name was. Agate. I really don't understand your hate for Reen. I really don't. Hey, Yuna. Yuna, wake up. <clears throat> Oh, that's right. Yuna's voice actor. Sleeping in class? <laughs> Were you up late last night or something? Yes. She was reading cookbooks and looking up recipes well past midnight. Uh, I, f I, I forgot. I really oh, liked Altina. Kurt and in the Ellie? last game. Wait. She was great. What's with your uniforms? <laughs> you still dreaming or what? I bet she was having a lovely dream about whoever it is she's planning to cook for. Muse and Ash too? Hold on. How are you here, Ash? Didn't you goodness? Would you all please simmer down? Class is about to start. We need to snap out of it and focus. Huh? Ada and Fritz? You guys are supposed to be at the main campus. What's going on? Why are you two here? You really are out of it, aren't you? Did you hit your head or something? No! What? Crown Prince Cedric? Get out of here, you little bitch. What are you doing here? Are you serious? Maybe you did hit your head after all. I'm here waiting for class to start. We're classmates now, remember? <sighs> did you seriously forget? The main and branch campuses being merged? All our classes being rearranged? His Highness, Ada and Fritz were added to Class 7, but that was two weeks ago. <laughs> They've only been here two weeks, but these scrubs are already acting like they own the place. Watch your mouth. I won't allow you to disrespect His Highness like that. Well, anyway, the fact that we were all at about the same point in the curriculum made things easy. True. The transfer was fairly smooth, all things considered. Huh. Oh, uh, I guess that rings a bell, now that you mention it. <laughs> Does it, though? Man, I must have just had some crazy dream or something. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Huh? Who are they? Okay. Uh, 
Class 7. Man Looks in like lab you're coat. all here, so we're going to start with today's announcements. Sorry, everyone. We still don't have a homeroom teacher for you yet. But the two of us are going to support you as much as we can. So please, give it your all. Yeah, I think I see what you mean about Mary's voice. It, I don't know, it's a bit weird. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't suit her. Yeah. Thank you, Instructor Mary. You as well, Instructor Makarov. Anyway, today's class schedule. First off, we've got applied info processing. That's right. We don't have a homeroom teacher, huh? Uh, shoot. I need to focus on the lesson. Those days I spent at Thor's were so warm and fulfilling. Yeah, he had a voice actor during, like, the... the defense of the academy, didn't he? I was surrounded by my friends and classmates. They were all so brilliant and talented, I could barely keep up. But together, we all supported each other and pushed each other to grow. Yeah, he's... Not so much lazy, but he's just... Not just when it came to academics. His voice is actually pretty we spot on for his character. We gave our clubs and our personal pretty lives good. everything we had too. Uh, you're standing too far forward, Yuna. Oh, it's the swimming girl. I can't remember her name. I remember her. Oh, that's reason, right. The tea ceremony club. I couldn't club. shake the feeling something was missing. A voice like guided us one that was calm but carrying way too many burdens it was a little pushy from time to time but you could feel the kindness behind it the voice of someone who had gone through a lot despite not being much older how than have us. you played as much like you've probably played genshin impact more than i have how do you still have stuff to do but whose voice could it have been I couldn't remember. You know you can do both, can't you? Yuna, your mind seems to be elsewhere today. Are you worried about something? Oh yeah, sorry. You know you really grow uh you've really grown up, Ali. Never would have picked up on something like this back when you first came here. Understanding such emotional intricacies has taken a great amount of effort. But I owe much of what I learned to you and um Ali, wait, you too? Me too, what? I joined Thor's branch campus as part of my work with the Intelligence Division, and then I met him again. I've got a plan. Let's get out of here, Ali. Uh, where are we going? I'm not going to feel any better staring at these four walls. We'll have to stick to the dawns of how late it is, but I think there's enough fresh air out there to clear our heads. Why don't we go chat with Kurt and the others? They shouldn't be asleep yet. Okay. 
I'll come with you. All right, let's go. Your monitor is in the opposite direction from the TV. But don't you watch on a laptop? Current story objective is always displayed. You can see it and expand the mini map, uh, the expanded views. Okay. Ah, oh, look at that working mirror. Look at look at the reflection in that mirror. That's RTX if I've ever seen it. Photo taken with a toy camera sits on display. Okay. Photo of Yuna and her family sits on display. Wait. If Yuna was working over here. Is that the way around it went? No, that can't have been the way around it went, right? So she was here, but didn't I start over here? Um... Well, I can't open the menu or anything. You watch the stream on the laptop and play the game on the TV. Oh, did she walk over to Altina? Oh. I see. Let's look for Kurt first. Maybe he's in his room. We should check to be sure. It's at the far Muse end of the hall. in Ada's room. Something doesn't seem right. You know, what is it? It's nothing. Let's find Kurt as quickly as we can. His room is this. Don't need to be here. Okay. This room is this. Nothing down here. Yeah, so why are you not going to put your laptop on your mattress? I mean, it does get kind of hot, but... Are you going strong, though? Because I'm pretty sure you've spent all morning talking about how you're going to spend £43 on a game you're never going to play. seem to be in his room. He must have gone somewhere. I don't think he would leave the dorms this late at night. Let's keep looking for him. Understood. Third floor is where the instructor's rooms are. It houses other members of the staff as well. I don't think Kurt's up there. I mean, he might have been. So, we know that there's people in here. Like, we know that there's people in these rooms, but I can't actually get in to talk to any of them. Oh, that sounds like... Aha! He's in the training room. The training room. Bathroom... Oh, that's right. I forgot about the little bathroom sh uh, sessions that Reen has with his classmates. <laughs> little bit weird, but whatever. You could put the laptop on a book and then put the book on the mattress. Ha! Yeah! Oh, strike! <sighs> <laughs> Looking good, Kurt. Your swordsmanship is as fluid as ever. 
Oh, Yuna, Altina. What are you two doing out so late? We just had to get some fresh air. What's up with you, Kurt? Don't you normally practice in the morning? Normally, yes. As for tonight, I just had the urge to train for some reason. Feels like I'm so close to reaching a breakthrough, but something's standing in my way. If only I could speak with him at a time like this. How about you tag along with us, then? You can keep us company in our travels for the night. I'm not so sure. Are you planning to go out around town at this hour? Wouldn't be a whole lot of point, what with all the shops being closed. Not to mention we've been locked uh we've been locked in for a long time. You guys, do you remember who was in charge of us before? Our homeroom instructor? Uh you mean someone who should have been looking out for us before Ash and Muse joined the group? Someone who filled that gap for three months before his highness and the others arrived two weeks ago? Maybe I shouldn't be getting so worked up over this. But I have to know. I just have to for some reason. You know. Okay, then I'll come along with you as part of my cooldown. Now that I think of it, how long have we been wearing these uniforms? And what about the other instructors? I can't remember who's in charge of military finance or combat tactics, or even our principal's name. But the principal was Aurelia, right? Combat tactics was... Randy? No. Military finance. Military finance was the group that Muse was a part of, I think, before. Toa was military finance. Okay. Hey, to be fair, I romanced uh, Emma in 1 and 2, so... I didn't like the idea of having only Alyssa as, like, the the canon. Uh, the canon love interest or whatever. The only way to make up for losing something is to try to track it down. If it's really worthwhile, there's no way we can't find it. Let's, let's look up at the ceiling. The instructor's room should be on the third floor. Let's investigate. Ah. Now I can talk to them for some reason. You say, Ada. Wait, since when do you two share a room? You know, how many times do you, uh, have you been in here to hang out now? I know we went over this in homeroom already, but you really need to get used to us being here. She's right, I understand the last two weeks have been pretty hectic, but things have changed, and you're going to have to accept that sooner or later. It's true. It's not as though we dislike the main campus students. Anyway, it's getting late. You probably shouldn't be wandering around the dorms at this hour. Unless, of course, you'd like to stay for some maidenly discussion of my favourite genre. He has agreed to join the Literature Club. And I'm sure she can bring some daring new ideas to the table. Muse, need I remind you that there is currently a boy in here? And besides, I haven't yet approved this literature you want to bring forward. It's our Muse. I wonder how the rest of the literature club will react. I'm sure Tatiana will be thrill uh, thrilled at least. I imagine Ash is in for quite a shock though. Hmm. So that's Ada's weapon and that's Muse's weapon. Well, Reen's was a little bit different, right? Because the, the Spec Ops one was like the the secret thing he was actually brought in like in an official capacity as the the history teacher right i want to know who sexy girl is <laughs> why does ash get a poster Also, I would not put a bookcase directly underneath a dartboard. But of young Ash and his foster mother sits on display.
Told you, I don't want it. I'm not interested. Come on, don't be such a prude. It's good stuff. Ash Fritz, do I ask, uh, dare I ask what's going on? It's nothing, really, I assure you. Eyebrows here wanted to take a look at my girly mag. Nice guy that I am, I said I'd loan it to him, but... I asked no such thing. This was all a misunderstanding from the very start. I saw it left on top of your desk and wondered what it was, that's all. I'd appreciate it if you stopped trying to force it onto me. Boys, am I right? They're irredeemable. Please don't lump us all together like that. Uh, what's the other one? This one. Study room. Oh, it's this little bish. Studying late into the night again, your highness. Oh, that reminds me. You were invited to the tea ceremony club today, right? Sorry, and afterwards you joined the swimming club for some exercise. It's a pretty packed schedule. Don't you think you deserve some time just to yourself? Some time to myself, you say? Despite how things may seem, I've felt much less exhausted here than at the main campus. All of these club activities really helped me unwind. I'm more concerned for all of you. Isn't it about time you started studying in earnest? I'm sure it would do you some good. Can you quit being a jerk for even two seconds? <laughs> you, need, you need to be careful what you say. Now, now, it's all right. After everything we've been through, I don't take it as an insult. And Kurt, there's no need to waste your energy on worrying about me, I assure you. In fact, I hope you're in peak condition for our morning training tomorrow. Of course. Of course. Of course, of course. This is the third floor. Okay. Let's have a look around. All <laughs> these nameplates are blank. Oh, that's true. I was just about to check the nameplates and then Kurt decided to tell me, oh, the nameplates are blank. Except for this one, which is unreadable. Oh no, it definitely says ring. Oh, this is... It's this room, without a doubt. I've only been here a few times, but I know. I mean, let's go inside. Oh. Wait, is that his fishing <sighs> rod on the A scroll with Eastern writing? I never liked the design of Reen's sword. I'm not gonna lie. Instructor Reen! Okay. Instructor Reen! Why did they hold their hands out like that? <sighs> Hooray, it's no longer a what dream. Was all of that a dream? Those strange school days we spent with everyone? It seems so. Wait, you had a dream about that too? Yes, I get the feeling we were all in the same dream together, Altina included. She doesn't get her own bed. I remember now. I was brought to that dark place, the Grawl. I tried to protect everyone, but then Milliam, she... Milliam, no, not again. Why? Why do they keep showing this? Stop it. N no. No! Allie, I remember now too. Alamar went berserk. No matter how much we tried to call out to Instructor Reen, we couldn't stop him. Now, Reen, let us begin. Together we shall write the end of this wretched fairy tale. 
in ink, black as despair. This is the point where I'm expecting Junko to go. Did Chancellor someone say Osborne's despair? Words to instruct Irene are the last thing I remember. But what happened afterward? How did we get here? You're all finally awake. Man, it's about time. <laughs> you had me worried. Hey, Chunko, welcome back. Hmm. Randy and Emma. Why? I don't like non-glasses, Emma. Emma and Randy, I am here as well. Wait. Roselia? But why? And where are we? Confused, huh? <laughs> Can't blame you. Don't worry, you're safe here. This is my grandmother's atelier. Oh. They've just confirmed the next game after Riser 2. It's Atelier Roselia. It's where I grew up. This is your family home? Did they wake up? Sounds like it. Was that Sarah I heard? Oh my god, it's <laughs> everyone. Everyone is here. You're all here. You're gonna lurk for a bit. You're playing an old game that you used to play as a kid. Oh yeah. What game is it? What a relief. I'm glad you're all okay. You really had us worried there. It's nice to finally have a bit of a silver lining after everything that happened. I'd ask if you're all okay, but... <sighs> no one could blame you after all that's happened. I imagine you must be feeling weak and disoriented. You were unconscious for two whole weeks, after all. Uh. Two weeks? Anyway... First thing you need to do now is eat. Even soup is fine. Just get something in you. I'm so glad I... I'm so glad I was able to restrain myself from saying what I was about to say to Sarah then. Trust me, I'm just as lost as you are, but we can talk later. That's right. Let me go make something for you. Nuh-uh. We're talking now. You need to tell us what the hell happened. And what in the world's an atelier? There's no way we're still in Heimdall, right? Class-based arena shooter. Uh, have a look. Wait, this is a browser game? Huh. My, for someone who spent the last two weeks dozing, you certainly are pushy. As the elder, Gunner, I suppose Gout, I should explain. Tank, tech, blazer, assassin, blaster, docker, bomber, commando. Ah, oh, looks kind of cool. Are currently deep in the heart of a pitch black forest. No, I don't. Welcome to I don't the remember home of the MechQuest Hexen and Italian. The hidden village of Aaron. That he dates the wrong way. But he dates the wrong way around. I thought it was the 8th of January, but it's not. It's the 1st of August. Wait, does that mean that you don't know where the others are? Randy Orlando. Crimson Roselia.
Emma Milstein. Dean. Dean? Dean. I'm afraid not. It's my fault. If only I was more powerful, I could have brought them here as well. If only. What's going on? Ah, so the Grawl has come unbound. Remember when all the students from Thor's got separated in CS2? Oh, right at the beginning. Proper dimension and taking us with it. I remember. It's going to cause a distortion. Emma! I'm on it. Why does she have to take her glasses and her hat off to use magic? Is this... You're teleporting us outside? Yes, this will take you straight to Grandmother. Don't worry, I'll make sure we all get out safely. Okay, we'll leave it to you. Just be careful. Understood. But Instructor Reen. Uh, fine! I'll get him! Celine! No! Oh, not again. What the? Oh, that would make sense. The. Uh... Like Ken Patchy wearing an eye patch to suppress his power. No! Instructor! Ugh. We need to get out of here now! Stay close by and keep a firm hold on Altina. Uh. You say? What the heck is that? Grianos? No! Is this Vita's magic? What, the, Correct. The bird? A transportation talisman imbued with the power of her deceased familiar. She gave it to me in case of emergency. How unfortunate I have to use it so soon. Just who are you? Yuna, Kurt, and Altina, too. I'm afraid it's time for me to say goodbye. No! Muse! Not Muse! You can't be. The Great Twilight has begun, and I, too, have a role to play. But I will always treasure the memory of these few months we spent together. I like music. So please, take care. And just leave Ash to me. Musei! Come back! She's gone, Yuna. This place won't last much longer. We need to get out of here! So much happened while we were unconscious. What was Muse thinking? I always thought there was something odd about that girl. I never expected her and Vita to be working together, though. It was quite the shock. She's even been teaching her magic. According to Yusis, she's been put in a pretty tough place. I can ask him all about it later. Okay, I guess we'll do that. That's about as far as our memories go. By the way, how did you end up here, Instructor Randolph? Oh, it just ended up working, uh, it just ended up working out that way. True. So it's Muse. Muse was great. G Grandmother! There you are. Now we can open the spirit path. Hey, is everyone okay? Uh, 
Huh? Oh, he got caught in it as well by accident. Oh, he's going to leave Tio behind. Ah. Uh... I like Tio as well. Stop it. We don't have enough time. I'll use a partition to get the others out. Take care. Stop leaving all the cool characters behind, goddammit. I'm worried about Tio and Instructor Toa. Louise and Jessica too. There's also Lenora, Tita and the others. Sydney's unaccounted for as well. I can't believe we lost two whole weeks. Couldn't be helped. That's just how much the battle in the Growl exhausted you. Using Panzer Soldats linked to the Ashen Knight further increased the burden on you. You may need even more time to fully recover your mana. The rest of us only woke up a couple of days before you did. So... You were saying something about all of the students uh, going missing in CS2. <laughs> Is that going to be like this, where I have to, like, recruit everyone back to my side? Because that's cool. I actually liked that in the last game, like in, in 2, where you had to, like, go around the world and find the, the students and bring them back. That was one of the coolest things about CS2. The rest of us only woke up a couple of days before you did. That battle really took a lot, a lot out of us. Emma. What happened to your black cat, uh, Celine? Celine is uh, psychically... I was about to read that as physically, but... Is psychically linked to Emma. If anything bad were to happen to her, Emma would have known uh, would know right away. So far, things have been quiet. Yes, but I've been unable to sense her for a while, though. Even during the Civil War, her presence felt very faint to me. Sounds like the two of you have a relationship similar to Clam Soleus and myself. Ali, I'm sorry. Can't be easy thinking about what happened to Milliam. Don't show it again. Getting used as a sacrifice for the curse. What crappy luck. It's got to be tough on all of you. And Reen's got the rough end of the stick too. Damn. Guys, I... Uni, Kurt, Altini... Our instructor is being kept captive by the gnomes and ironbloods. This much we know to be true. The Ashen Knight, who has been consumed by his power and the sword at the end, are with him. Likely the Selene is there as well. E. Ayame, hey, good afternoon. How you doing? Is there anime karaoke? Uh, I don't know, actually. I'm going to go ahead and say probably not. But there is a cool card game called Vantage Masters. Which is basically Hearthstone. Try to put your concerns out of your mind for the time being. You'll need to stay in the village to recuperate a little longer. Don't torture yourselves worrying about uh, worrying over what you can't change. If you would like to unwind? We have some lovely hot springs here. Ooh. Hearthstone, but better. Maybe. Tried a new pizza yesterday other than the mustard sauce. It's good. Oh, yeah. What kind of pizza was it? What did you have on it? I'm pretty boring when it comes to pizza, and I just order everything that has, like, meat on it. Just get all the meats. Oh, no. It's definitely not as good as Triple Triad. <laughs> definitely not. 
Beautiful, isn't it? it? Certainly is. To think all of this was hidden deep within Isthmia. Bacon, peppers, meat, and teriyaki. Uh. How about we take a quick look around? Let's. I'd like to speak with the members of the old class seven again while we're at it. They're taking all this harder than we are, I'm sure. Indeed. We owe it to everyone to have a proper talk about what happened and where we go from here. About the notebook. You can open the notebook by pressing right on the touchpad while in the field or on the main screen of the camp menu. The main tab, you can look at your overall rating. The navigation log can also be found here. Character tab lets you read profiles. The notebook will automatically record information on a variety of subjects and more tabs will be unlocked as the game progresses. And the quick travel menu. Let the location to instantly return there. Quick travel menu will also display the locations of key events and your comrade. That's the quick travel menu. So character location and key event location. Occasionally you will see event markers display uh, displayed on characters and places. These shows that an event will take place there. So key event, quest event, bonding event, sub event, extras. And a set of bonus items. Rank B7. Ah, oh. Zero out of 358 chests opened. Okay. Unity grade. Scattered. Panera Bread is selling pizza now. So you figured you might as well try it. Is... You've already missed AP? Ah, uh, unfortunate. What is Panera Bread? Let's have a look. Oh, it's a shop. Wow, it's a bakery company. Ooh. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Flatbread pizza. Let's have a look. Chipotle chicken, scrambled egg, and avocado wrap. A bacon, egg, and cheese on a brioche bun. Oof. Free unlimited... Premium coffee. Damn. Not bad. Uh, Reen is not dead. He's currently being held captive, I think they said. Doreen, Unica, Altina, Ash, Elisa, Elliot... Laura, Machias, Emma, Eusis, Fee, Gaius, Sarah, Milliam, Randy, Roselia, and Celine. Alright, um, can't do anything with Orbman. Oh, I do have a champion medallion. Holy sh... HP plus 2,000. Strength plus 20. What's that? Accuracy? Prevents stat down? Damn. That's pretty nice. Cause the shining bomb uh, pom to grant you a Zerum powder and enough XP for one level. Okay. New materials can be used to customize equipment. All right. Let's get some of these DLCs, shall we? 
attachments, hair extensions. We got some free sample stuff. I got a lot of stuff now. 400 of each Sepith as well. Okay, so this is her default. Which is the Branch Academy outfit. This is the Crossbell Resistance outfit. Weird. She's got a version of Lloyd's outfit, but in red, which is kind of cool. And a swimsuit. Okay. Oh my god, a ride along Milliam. Why have they done this to me? Risha! Best character from Crossbell. Maiden Toa. Aurelia! Okay, so we got some peacock frames. We got some rider goggles. A heart eye patch. Some red frames. Some swimming goggles. It's a Mishi face mask. What is this? Why is this a thing? Wait. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Oh, what is that? Ugh. Oh my god. Why does she just have a tank on her head? Who actually uses these? Oh, that's kind of nice. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Sun visor. Silver version, sure. Resistance beret. I think I used these in the last game because they matched the uh they matched the uniform. Oh my god, you can get Belle's hair as an accessory. Uh Oh, this is a uh, This is that little bit on the side there. Okay. Eastern bun. Okay, that doesn't really work with the rest of her hair. That doesn't really work either, but it's kind of cool. That's not awful, but it doesn't really work with her ponytail. That's not terrible, but again, doesn't really work with the ponytail. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, now this one I can get behind. I don't know why they wouldn't make the dog one colored the same way, but whatever. Okay, bunny ears. Does it give her a bunny tail as well? It does. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, my God. What is this? Excel. Hello. Azure Knight. 
Uh, main campus backpack. Red backpack. Angel backpack. Oh my god. Michelin Wonderland. Missy Tube. Donut Tube. Oh, I like it. Oh, wow. You can actually get a... You can get, like, things floating around behind. Wait, the Bobcat? Okay, so that didn't really do very much. All right, so he gets swimsuit as well, but it's kind of bad. He doesn't really get anything. And then he gets everything the same. No extra hair. Oh, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Oh, she gets a million outfit. Ooh. Kind of like this magical girl one. Wait, if we do this and this. Yeah. There we go. Million's back. I'm pretty sure there was a... There was something that went along with this. That's right. Okay, that's not bad. I actually like that. Wait, is there actually a million hat? Oh, yeah. You're right. No. Okay. Oh, with the ride along Milliam. <laughs> oh my god. Uh I, ca I can't. I can't do it. No. I do kinda like this though. I actually really like this outfit. It's actually really cool. I wish you could change the colour of it, but I guess not. Wait, only level 28? <sighs> Alright, where are we going? So where am I right now? I'm outside the... So I'm like right here. So I basically need to go and talk to everyone. We got the Orbal Factory, we got the General Store. Let's go talk to people that are in buildings first. Oh, there's a secret thing over it. Well, not so much a secret thing. What a lovely flower bed. With all these flowers blue. Limerick General Goods. Welcome Aaron to Limerick. Flowers, like the ones the Archbishop requested during our field exercises. Alright, so don't go touching things needlessly. Magical products. Come across some artifacts before. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. I don't think that's a thing that happened in the last game where the costume choices that you make actually affect the character portrait in the dialogue window. Was that a thing that happened in the last game? I can't remember. Whoa, this place is packed with all sorts of stuff. Oh, that was always the case. Uh, moonlight robes, dark silk shoes. 
Or buy the book. Always buy the books. Got cooking ingredients. Wait, were they evasion shoes? 3%? That doesn't seem good. Now I've got lots of money. Wait, should I... Hang on. Did I get any accessories or anything from all of that? No? Okay. Something about it seems rather peculiar. Now the question is, who is my evasion tank? I don't know why I just bought that. I don't know if that's going to be good at all. Hmm. Not so peculiar when you consider it's set up in a witch's village. Oh, Elisa's here. Okay. Anything going on in here? No. Okay. So before we talk to Elisa and carry on with all this nonsense, uh, I will be back in a couple of minutes. I'm just going to go quickly go to the bathroom and maybe get some lunch. But yeah, I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
All right, I'm back. I think I was using Yuna as my evasion tank in uh, in three. But yeah, I think I'd agree that B having a mode switch like Yuna had, that would be kind of cool. Oh, Arison, you said that you missed an AP, right? Is it in this section of the game? Or is it after this? Just so that I don't also miss it. Well, I'm still in the prologue, right? Hang on, let me have a look. No. Yes. Okay, I am still in the prologue. Is the missing AP, or the AP that you missed, in the prologue? Okay. Yeah, if B does have a ranged counterattack, but I think what Shun's saying is, you know how um, Yuna can switch between ranged and melee, like, at will? B can't do that. Okay. Lisa, are you all right? Oh, hey guys. Good to see you on your feet again. Don't push yourselves, all right? You've been stuck in bed for two weeks now, after all. I guess we're a little rusty after two weeks in bed. Were you looking through the books here? Yeah, they have a lot of rest stuff on display. I thought I'd take a look. To be honest, I mostly came for a copy of the Imperial Chronicle. See, we got one of those too. But we're in different dimensional space from the rest of the world. Yeah, but it seems the residents regularly get various supplies from the outside world. Usually the latest issue of the Imperial Chronicle gets here within a day or two of it being published. Lisa, are you too scared to read it? Ah. You could tell, huh? You must think I'm pretty pathetic. After all, we already know whatever written, uh, whatever's written in is going to be horrible. Because of this great twilight mess, the Empire is a total train wreck. And I think about what happened to Reen and Milliam and Laura's father too. Stop showing that! That's how the person who caused all of that hurt is... Oh, that's right. Elisa. Sorry everybody, I know I should be trying to set a better example. I need to find out what part of my, uh, what part my mother's playing in all of this. I'm curious about what Sharon's doing too, now that she's back with Ouroboros. God damn it, Sharon. Oh, don't make me fight Sharon at some point. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm going to go read this in my room. You guys take it easy. Black Albrecht. I don't think any of us could have predicted he'd turn out to be Alyssa's father, Franz Reinford. As well as the person who created Millie, me and Milliam. No wonder Elisa feels so torn over this. Even then, she's doing her best to put up a strong front. With things like this, just what exactly can we do? probably remember what these items do. Kills KO and restores 8,000 HP. Restores all HP. Kills KO restores 100 CP. Oh, that's right. 
it restores 3 BP, restores 50% HP, restores Alter Spirit Essence. It's like a Celestial Balm, but it does HP and EP. So. And then this is like a full revive. Oh, actually, no. Spirit Essence does it to all. Increases uh. maximum HP by 10, strength by 1. Yeah, I think I might do the same. If I remember rightly, money is... Oh, okay, so the incense actually sells for quite a lot. The droplets, not so much. I think I might actually keep the droplets, considering they don't sell for a lot. this there's steam billowing out from over there i'm guessing this is the hot springs i'm on hot springs right in the middle of a village of witches kind of crazy if you stop and think about it i'm not really in the mood for a scrub and a soak right now though neither am i perhaps we should save before we can better enjoy it okay You buy multiple of special looking items because you can trade sets in for better gear. Trade sets in for better gear. Oh, like the accessories and everything. Like the straps and the grips and stuff like that. Really? Gandalf's Orble Factory? Really? Kids remember school, for us worth, welcome to the village. The secondary contractors for Valimar, huh? But yeah, that's the title we were given when Valimar recognized us as being connected to Instructor Reen, right? The size of it. Weapons workshop, we can make pretty much any kind of armament you want. Divine Knights are our main focus. Really hoping to teach that awaken a kiddo a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Put some spirit into it. I was thinking I'd give your weapons a once over, but now nah, let's save it for another time. Okay, so I guess I can't interact with this guy. The music in these games has always been really good. Always like the music in these games, even this this like orchestral stuff. Hey guys, modifying your augments. Sarah Valestine. Wait, let's see if I can remember Fee's full name. Begins with a C. Oh, it's like Corsell or Clawcell, Cor something like that. Right? Didn't take just sitting around doing nothing. Clawcell, there we go. I wish I'd asked Tovel more about Orbal Arts when I had the chance. Seriously, how am I supposed to break the news to Mick? There are fee. Is the Bracer Guild planning to get involved in things this time? Could be. We haven't been able to get in touch with any of the key players yet, though. And we're still having trouble pinning down the location of the other Bracers who were helping us, such as Agat. We'll look for them once we've pulled ourselves together. Okay. No need to rush into it. You will need to take some time to recover. 
it's not just you, you're letting old class 7 have some space to bounce back to. Or we're letting them. Am I going to get East 9? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, understood. Oh, that conversation was a bit shorter than the other one. What else we got? The herbalist's home. So it has similar mechanics. Okay. Hopefully the characters are a little bit better in 9 than they were in 8. If I remember rightly, that was one of my big gripes with the game. That the characters kind of sucked. <laughs> At least I think I did. Hang on. Was there a character I liked in that game? Were there any characters with massive boobs? Because if so, that was probably the character I liked. That's right. Dana. Dana exists. That's true. Alright, so this is a shop, apparently. I should buy some battle scopes until I get the analyze quartz. Fill out that monster book, you know? I can trade in new materials for a brave seed. Interesting. Could you do that in the last game? Fortune teller. Wait, this little girl's a fortune teller? So you can run up walls and glide through the air. Huh. So it's going to be a lot more focused on exploration, I guess. 
have a lot more verticality as well. Because that was my problem with 8, is that it was kind of flat. Oh, I see. So they're using it like, um, like that. Okay. Man, those accessories were so annoying. Probably can't go in there. Lux Lunal? Lunae. Guess this must be the local tavern, huh? Seems so. No village is complete without one, I suppose. Good morning, CPS. Good to see you up and about. Had a close shave. Everyone pitched in. these shops sell recipes Let's go now. All right. All right. So now it's character based. These characters have their own special ability. The best part is you don't have to switch to them to use it. Oh. Oh, I see. That's kind of good. I've always hated it when you have to do that. You have to switch to a certain character like oh i don't know genshin but you have to change your party because you can't have a party of everything you need you need a wind character an earth character a fire character and an ice character but you also need a lightning character you need to make it so that you can quick change between your parties i think We don't get to see you two together very often. Yeah, you make kind of an odd pair if you ask me. You think so? I'd say we get along just fine. Yeah, Macchiato and I are tight, and we've worked together before, three months back, I think. He went out of his way to ask permission to use the SSS building for a meeting. I was real impressed with his manners. Ah, so that's how you came to know each other. Wait a minute, Macchiato? I asked him to quit calling me that, but you know how he is. Oh, come on, don't be such a buzzkill. To be honest, I don't give guys nicknames all that often. Kind of shows you're special to me, you know? That's right, I think I've only heard your nicknames for Yuna and Altina. I never gave him permission to call me Altini. Same goes for Uni. Hmm. Hmm. You also need Deluke. Ugh, still don't have Deluke. The Luke. sky above Aaron seems so strange. Yeah, 
I'm not that it's hurt about like it, to be honest. a completely different world. The Hexen clan village is quite a mysterious place. Like, I don't have any particular attachment to Daluk. Oh, I see you feeling right and rested already. Laura S. R. Sage. The S stands for sexy. Isn't it the only character she's missing? Not just the only five star, but isn't it the only character she's missing? Sorry for bringing this up again, but has Viscount Arsaid? From what I've heard, a state funeral has already been held for him, Prince Oliver, Tovo, and the rest of the fallen crew. They said the explosion had completely incinerated their bodies. It was a procession of empty caskets, yet I still couldn't bring myself to attend. Maybe that's the reason why it hasn't really hit me yet. It just doesn't seem real. Alright, it's only natural to feel that way. When I think of Reen, Celine, and Milliam on top of that, it's more than I can even bear. Narsaid is supposed to be strong at times like this. To lead, to inspire. Have I learned nothing? Have I not grown one bit? Hmm. I'm sorry, everyone. Please forget you saw anything. Words of woe will do nothing to mend matters. You've finally woken up. Now is our time to plan for the future, not weep over the past. Yeah, you can't, you can't switch the party with just a button press. You have to pause the game, go into party, uh, party setup, which then has like a small loading bar at the top of the screen. You then have like four set parties that you can change between, and then you have to go into that Let's party, go. deploy that party, and also switch who you want into that party. It's so annoying. I think Eustace is the last person we wanted to talk to. Maybe it's is Emma. This? I don't know. Hey there, guys. You seem to be doing better. Elliot Craig. Gaius Warzel. You can see that Deathly Pal has finally left your faces at, at the least. Yeah, thanks for watching over us. And for all the help you gave us back at the Growl as well. We're in your debt. No words can express the amount of gratitude I feel towards the old Class 7. Come on, you guys helped us out just as much. Besides, it's not as though my powers were enough to wait uh, to make the difference either way. Uh, sorry, pay my grumblings no mind. I wasn't ready, simple as that. It's just something I'll have to work on. The Dominions are in charge of the Growl Shritter, as I recall. I can't even imagine the amount of extra pressure that must place on him. Yeah, no kidding. Well, in any case, you've only just woken up. I know you might feel re-energized, but try not to push yourselves too far, okay? I'll try. Thanks for the advice. See, because I fight the, um, the electric cube quite a lot, I have to make sure that... Um... Fuck, why can't I remember her, na her name? Zucros? Yeah, I have to remember that she's in my party Let's go. at all times. Because she's the only person that can really damage the uh, the diamonds that come out of it towards the end of the fight. So I have to use her. So I have to... So I basically just have Sucrose in my party at all times. And then if I ever need fire, I switch over to Amber. 
And having to switch all the time is so annoying. Okay. But the thing is, it's like, um... Apparently one of the rumours is that in version 1.1 they're introducing quick party switching or something. That Milliam's hat. That's Milliam's hat. Indeed, it made its way over to me somehow through the space-time distortion. Perhaps it was fate itself that brought it here. Let's see, maybe so. Orion. Altina, rather. I was thinking I'd give this to you once you'd woken up. Please, take it. You were the only family she had. I... I can't. You should be the one to hold on to it. That's what Million would have wanted. I see. Very well, then. I'll take good care of it. I'd actually convinced myself that I'd never be able to get over things so long as it was in my possession. Still, in a way, I'm almost relieved to uh, to keep it, as maudlin as that sounds. But with the curse spreading through the Empire, it's more imperative that we figure out how the board will play out from here. Board? Wait, does this have something to do with whatever Musei's been up to? Ah, that's right. Instructor Randy did say uh, you might be able to inform us. That I would. I've already been briefed. Uh, I've already briefed both him and the rest of Class Seven about the situation. In fact, it's only fair I tell all of you as well now that you've woken. Now listen closely and try to follow along. Okay. So Musa's actual identity is Mildin Jusleth de Cayenne, the soon-to-be Duchess of the Cayenne family. These are all coming together, so to speak. I assume the intelligence division knew of this all along. Wait, so all of this is for real? You're seriously telling me that Musée foresaw the possibility of something going wrong in Heimdall and headhunted the top members of the provincial armies just to prepare for it? That's precisely what I'm telling you. The Viceland Army, she calls it. I only know what I've been told, but it seems Brigadier General Bardius, General Le Guin and Vita have also been in cahoots with her. Tens of thousands of elite troops all gathered together in secret with the recovered... Pantagruel as their flagship. It's possible that they intend an independently uh, intend on independently opposing the Chancellor and his faction. That's insane. Tens of thousands is considerable, but still inadequate to oppose the Imperial Army. If I remember right, Erebonia's army is a good 800,000 soldiers strong, isn't it? With the National Mobilization Law in effect, that total can only rise from there. Lady Mildine's efforts are doomed to a, a brave yet yeah, ultimately futile act of resistance. She's well aware of this, hence why she's part of company with the rest of the four grey houses. The Weisland army is on its own from here on out. Damn. Nevertheless, that girl will find a way. She's almost certainly weaving a counter plan against the Chancellor, even as we speak. Her keen foresight on how things would occur left even Marcus Hyams and myself bewildered. <laughs> my hat now. Uh, if I had Deluke, I would have Deluke and Bennett in my party at the same time. See, that's what I'm doing with Fischl and Ching. Even though they're both electric, they're just in my party at all times. Do you hear about the streamer who spent $7,000 on his Genshin Impact? He's abandoning it now. I'm playing it all over without spending a cent. What? Why, though? To be fair, my NA account is free to play. I haven't spent any money on my NA account whatsoever. And I haven't spent any money since I stopped streaming it on the, on the EU account. Uh, we're blind to Musée's true intentions until only recently. As such, it is crucial that we determine what steps the government and the Weissland army might take next. 
Such is my duty as the Lord of the Four Great Houses, as well as the brother of the general oh, of the enemy we found in Crossvale's Governor General. This is a little too much for me right now. I think my head's starting to spin. Still, it's nothing compared to what Musa's had on her shoulders this whole time. If only we'd known. This is a very complex situation, to be sure. It's far from clear what the correct course of action might be. But the blindfolds are off now. All we can do is face what lies ahead, even if we must do so without Class Seven's most central piece, your instructor. And off he goes. <laughs> There's the free to play players, the dolphins, the whales, and then the legendary Leviathan. Okay. And then the Saudi prince. All right. I think I would definitely be considered a dolphin. In fact, I would be somewhat less... I think I've spent less money on the game than Sky has. Did I even explore Rose's Atelier? I don't think I did. Is there even anything in here? A book. Oh. Just... Here, read these books. Thousand. Not... Not quite, uh, quite 6,000. I spent, I think, oh, maybe like a hundred and, hundred and twenty pounds, I think. Oh, it's the Red, Red Moon Rose books. I remember when you had to collect those in the Sky Games. And there's chapter 1 to 7. If you spend over a thousand, you'd move into whale territory? I'd say so. I'd say a thousand is probably whale territory for sure. Yeah. Junkie Kitty, hello. How you doing? Yes, there was a ladder. There was a ladder there the whole time. I don't think it does anything, though. I mean... It's fine. Like, I don't think it counts towards any sort of completion metrics. It's fine. You don't have to... <laughs> you don't have to lose your shit about missing that ladder. It's fine. And yes, Junkie. I am doing pretty well. I'm glad that I'm finally able to play this game, considering I pre-ordered it and then couldn't install it for three days or two days or whatever. I was one of those people. Having a look around the village, are you? Are you sure you guys have had enough rest? Definitely getting there, sort of. It's a bit hard to relax after all the information we've had dropped on us. We concluded that keeping ourselves busy might help us get over our shock. By the way, about that magic, uh, magic feather thing that Muse used at the growl. Mention something about a deceased familiar. Yes, that would be Granios. He used to be Vita's familiar, like Selene is for me. But he was slain by Rufus' hand at the end of the Civil War. Governor General killed a witch's familiar? I had no idea. 
That is indeed how it happened. Unlike Selene, Granios wasn't blessed with the ability to speak. The Vita bonded with him closely uh, nevertheless. He was irreplaceable to all of us. <laughs> Granny OS. Yep, that's the one. Oh, a new Xanadu game. That would be kind of cool. It's absolutely vital that we don't lose Selene as well. Uh, I know I've said this before, but if anything happens to Selene, I'll know immediately. So please try not to worry, okay? We will try. Seems as good a point as any to bring this dreary exchange to an end. I don't care much for ad nauseums, but I advise you grant your weary bones a bit more rest out of your stay. Of course, we'll make the most of it. Phew, I think we've seen all there was to see. What now? Should we go back to Rose, uh, Roselia's Atelier? Uh, sure. Can you not get... Announcement! Ah, jeez. Can you not, um... Um... Let's can you not go. get Tokyo Xanadu as a physical copy, then? Is that a digital-only game? Oh, man. So many heart emotes. Uh, poke the Silver Rabbit. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Let's go. Wait, the next games aren't going to be turn-based. I think that's fine. Maybe. Like, they should be, but it depends on what they do. I mean, they're basically going to turn it into ease at that point, aren't they? I know this sounds obvious, but it feels like everyone's suffering. You're right, especially Alyssa, Laura, and Eusis. And it really shows how much they all love Millium. Yeah, I kind of got the feeling Instructor Reen was keeping everyone together, too. The old Class 7 relied on him just as much as we did. Yeah, he wasn't merely the center of this group, he was their rock. Everyone drew strength just from his presence. Well, what are we supposed to do now that he's gone? As if Ash and Muse were leaving us wasn't bad enough. Muse, or should we call her Duchess Cayenne? Quite difficult to believe she was putting such plans in place the entire time we knew her. Yes, none of this even feels real. She has a much better grasp on the situation than any of us could have known. Isn't it kind of annoying, though? She said she'd take care of Ash, but we have no idea what she's actually planning to do. I don't like it either. I'd prefer to speak with Ash in person. Back already, I see. Oh. Hey, Junko, welcome back. How was your game? down in the dumps, huh? Landy-san! Oh, I guess old Class 7's in the same boat. Well, can you blame them? From what Emma's told me, the combined power of the Gnomes and the Blood and Iron Chancellor is completely overwhelming. So much so, that they could bring about the end of the world with ease. That's terrifying to think. 
To top things off, we've got five more Divine Knights besides Valimar running around now. And one of them, that Ebon Knight, Chancellor Osborne is piloting himself. That knight had an aura unlike any of the others, as if it wanted to dominate all it surveyed. Total domination. Yeah. Honestly, it... It gave me goosebumps just looking at it. Wasn't there a rumor about Crossbell remakes? I mean, the other Divine Knights had powerful auras too. Or rather, that one. the Crossbell games being released in the West. <clears throat> well, if the Blood and Iron Chancellor's behind the wheel, it's gotta be bad news. Right. There was something else that bothered me. Now, Reem, let us begin. Together we shall write the end of this wretched fairy tale. In ink, black as despair. The amount of times I've heard this line quoted, just in this game alone, is insane. Right at the end, the Chancellor called Instructor Reen by his first name. Almost like he knew him well. But when they met in Heimdall, they were much more formal with each other. Last names and all that. Now that you mention it... Huh. That is kind of weird. Mm hmm? <sighs> Allie? Is there something you're not telling us? Well... <sighs> Allie, please. Mm. Mm. You're with the Intelligence Division, right, Altini? You know way more than us about all this. Hmm. Mm. Certain things have been nagging at me for a while now. Not just the exchange between the Chancellor and Instructor Reen, but Old Class Seven's behavior as well. What? Why did that get auto-modded? What? Oh my god, auto-mods suck. So, the term... Look at this. Look at look at the term that got auto modded. Look at this. Look. It was it was this. That's the thing that made that auto mod. <laughs> I can't tell. If it was trying to auto mod the word at the end, because it was trying to determine whether it was just a typo for dot or what. And then there's the fact that Instructor Reen is not a Schwarzer by birth. <laughs> Huh? Uh, oh, right. I guess I knew he and Elise weren't actually blood related. Interesting. Hey, hey, whoa! What are you getting at here? As a Vander, I'm privy to certain information that I believe may shine a light on our current situation. Oh, here we go. Please, hear me out. Fourteen years ago, just before the start of the Hundred Days War. Lord, hello. Someone attacked the home of the then Brigadier General Osborne. To this day, Nobody knows who was responsible, nor what motivated them, but they murdered Osborne's family in their own home. He lost his wife, and, it said, he lost a son. But the son's remains were never found. Uh. Whoa, so that's how it all connects. But hold on, Kurt. How did you put this all together? It's a technique Instructor Reen taught me called the Unclouded Eye. Letting go of your preconceived notions will let you see the truth. You were hoping that this game wouldn't work out. You needed more back every time. To be fair, I'm glad I didn't start Yakuza 3 yesterday. Because it meant I would have stopped playing Yakuza 3 to play this. But, for the most part, with the delay of Cyberpunk, chances are I'm going to have some time to fill with some more Yakuza. So you'll be A-OK. -okay. 
I trust I'm not mistaken? You're right. I received confirmation myself two years ago, during the incident at the Infernal Castle. Though it was only by coincidence, I was there on a mission to capture Duke Cayenne. Instructor oh, Rin and Old that. Class 7 were shocked to discover the truth. I can imagine. Yeah, no kidding. That'd mess anyone up. <laughs> I'm gonna have lots of time before 2077. But that would explain why Reen and his pals were so dead set on foiling Osborne's schemes. <laughs> Yuna? Are you angry? Yuna, Instructor Reen's birth father, doesn't change who he... Of course I'm angry! How could I not be? <laughs> Damn Stop it. yelling, Anne. Why would he keep all that from us? And not just him, either. The rest of Old Class 7 is just as bad. Come on, you two. We are bringing them back here. Now! I'm... No. We are gonna have a few words with them! Yuna... What exactly do you want to say? <laughs> That's our uni, I suppose. It seems that for better or worse, nothing keeps her down for long. Yuna ran around the village, rounding up the members of the old Class 7. In the face of her fierce energy, they were powerless to resist. Good. That's everyone. Um, Yuna? What is it you wanted to talk to us about? I... kind of get the feeling you're upset with us. Oh, I'm not upset. I'm completely pissed off. Yuna, please. I don't know what you're planning, but try to keep a level. Kurt, Allie, I need both of you to shut it. We just learned the truth about Instructor Reen's father. His birth father, I mean. The Blood and Iron Chancellor, Giliath Osborne. Oh. Oh. Well. So, you found out, huh? Please, Yuna, don't think any less of Reen. He suffered so much because of Osborne, but he never agreed with the Chancellor's policies, with his unreasonable demands. It's true. For all the pain my brother has caused me, it pales in comparison to what Reen has suffered at the hands of his father. Each mission Reen fulfilled for his father ate away at him piece by piece, but he always retained a sense of what was right. His actions in the Northern War are the perfect example. I get it. I haven't known him for as long as you have. But I know what kind of person he is. And I think there's something that we in the new Class 7 understand even better than you do. That he... That Instructor Reen is still suffering. Even now. <sighs> You're right. We've seen it with our own eyes. I'm confused we where this conversation's going. The way he gave his all to try and stop the Chancellor. But even then, it wasn't enough. So he chose to put his life on the line to keep us safe. <sighs> it's true. Ali tried to protect him from certain death. But in the end, it was Milliam who paid the price. She became the sword to save all of our lives. The shock and grief sent Instructor Reen into a rage. In trying to avenge Milliam, he ended up triggering the end of the world. And now, his father, Osborne, is trying to use him for something else even beyond all that. Game. If they repeat that line again. I know okay, that good. right now, Instructor Reen must be blaming himself for everything. For not being able to protect Milliam. For making a mistake that can't be undone. That's why someone... Someone needs to find him, grab him by the collar, and shake him until he snaps out of it. To tell him that he's wrong. That it wasn't his fault. Wasn't that supposed to be your job? You're his friends, aren't you? 
Uni. <laughs> if you won't do it, then we will, as his students. Instructor Reen has always offered us support when we needed it most. It now falls to us to do the same for him, and I swear I will. Not as a Vander, but as a member of Thor's branch campus's Class 7. Instructor Reen has been my mentor, showing me the way. He taught me to think for myself, gave me the courage to make my own decisions, helped me figure out who I really am. That's why my decision was an easy one. I'll protect everyone, just like Milliam did. And I will do everything in my power to rescue Instructor Reen, so that I can thank him in person. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> I knew someone was going to start Sheesh. laughing. They got us good there. Yep, I agree. They didn't just catch up to us, they blew right past. You can say that again. We came too much earlier than they did, but all we did was mope around. We let our sadness and our fear of what we have to do next paralyze us. How could we? It's so embarrassing. So much for setting an example. <sighs> yeah. L listen to him. All right. <laughs> Don't so buy this means... game. Yes, you're all absolutely correct. I'll tell you what. You should not... You should not buy this game. Unless... You can pick it up for... I would say anywhere between 15 and 20 pounds. Protecting everyone, huh? That certainly sounds like Nilium. Good afternoon, Feeny. You love trails, but you had a hard time with one. Wait, uh, oh, with this one. Hmm. She's passed the baton to us. Now we must work together to protect what we hold dear. I don't know, it seems alright so far. Rain has always devoted himself to helping others. We owe it to him to follow his example. Do you remember what we told Reen and Milliam that day? To be day? fair, I'm still in the prologue. Five hours later, but... We'd work to stop the war on the surface and find out what's happening behind the scenes. This is the, the longest scene. prologue of all time. It's time for us to do just that. And don't forget about Crow. Seems like he's got his memories back. Yeah. We'll get him back on our side, even if we gotta beat some sense into him first. <laughs> I like the way you think. It's not going to be easy, though. Especially with that mobilization law in full effect. True, but we can start by investigating that black pleroma grass that sprang up after the ritual. Looks like all you guys needed was a little kick in the butt and you're back on track. Have I ever played Code or 2? Me. Are you asking me? Uh, yes. You started following during Dragon Age, right? If that's the case, you would have been here for KOTOR 2. I actually like the prologue. Wait, the KOTOR 2 prologue. Oh, on the mining, uh, the mining station. Ah, that didn't take too long. That only took like an hour or so. Maybe two hours. This is a five hour prologue. To be fair, I didn't even get to do gameplay. There was an hour's worth of cutscenes at the beginning of the game. So, 
So you know I tried to get a refund for this game, right? To try and buy a new copy so that I could actually play the game. Well, I just got a response to the email that I sent on Tuesday. Saying, thanks for your email about the Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4 and sorry for the late reply. Unfortunately, as you've downloaded this content, I can't provide a refund at this time. For future reference, you'll find details on our refund and cancellation policy at blah, blah, blah. Sorry we couldn't help. Thanks, Yasmin, uh, player uh, is the player support specialist for PlayStation support. Yeah, thanks, Yasmin. All right, thanks. Fucking two days too late. I mean, it's not helpful now. I don't want to refund the game now, now that I've actually been able to download it. If you'd actually read my email, you'd know why I was trying to refund it. God. See, I don't understand the refund policy for PlayStation. Like, if you download the game, you're not allowed to get it refunded. But how does that change anything? Because just by downloading the game, that doesn't mean anything. Like, oh, you've downloaded the game. That means that it's yours forever. There's no way to get rid of it. That, like... Yeah, I'd have been able to refund it almost instantly. What is it? It's like within 14 days of the purchase and you can't have played more than two hours of it, I think. Yeah, see, I like that policy. That policy is pretty good. And considering it's much harder, to, like, it's much easier to download a game and then keep that game, you know? Like, there, there are ways around not... Re actually refunding the game like if you install the game and refund it that game is still installed on your pc and you can exit out of steam and i think you can access the game through the install files and still play it because that's what happened to me with one of the south park games that never worked i could still load it up even after i'd refunded it even though it wasn't in my Steam library anymore. I'm glad to hear it. That puts my mind at ease. Yeah. True. I am a but hacker this is man. only the beginning. Aside from rescuing Instructor Reen, we've still got to find Muse and Ash, and everyone else from the branch campus too. You're absolutely right. We're going to take everything back. Our Instructor... Our entire world. You won't be doing it alone. We'll be there to help you every step of the way. Hell yeah. You have our gratitude for bringing us back to our senses. Yeah, thanks. The trial that awaits us will be the ultimate test of Class 7's worth. And that means all of us. There's no difference anymore between old and new Class 7. That's right. Our shared goals have united us. And together, we can overcome any challenge. With the power of friendship. Right. There's the anime nod. Are we are we finally out of the pro is this still the prologue? Honestly, I can't a hundred percent remember what 
her voice sounded like in the older games so it hasn't really affected me all that much luckily Aurelia 1420 hours we've cleared the third air fleet search radius good Return to alert level two. Now, full rudder starboard. We're headed north-northwest. Yes, sir. My, they're all so well-trained. Every soldier knows his proper place. I can't help but wonder how the Civil War would have turned out if this army of yours had been around back then. I can't imagine it would have changed things in the end. At most, we might have prolonged the war for a year or so. Though if we'd had a more suitable leader, things might have turned out differently. Who else's voice actor changed? Somebody said Laura's changed. Who was, who was the other character? I do believe you're right. Oh, please. You're giving me too much credit. Osborne. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a bit of a weird one to hear. It's only thanks to your generous assistance that I even stand aboard this airship. And so you claim. But you're the one who arranged all of this. That's right. The way you see tens of thousands of moves ahead, you could even teach the Blood and Iron Chancellor a thing or two. I imagine you'd make a fine anguish for the society if you were so inclined. <laughs> well, I certainly would enjoy meeting the infamous Grand Master in person. However, in the end, I too failed to stop the Great Twilight. Failing to notice that Ash had taken that gun is one of my greatest regrets. That one mistake was all it took. So confused. So, in the Sky Games, Chloe was Claudia, right? And Chloe had really short hair, but... When she was Claudia, she wore a wig? Does that mean the Muse is wearing a wig now? Why why is she changed her hair? Seen it. Now that she's I Lady been able to stop Mildine. Him. Perhaps it was simply the will of Adios. Or far more likely, the curse. Yes. It's something powerful enough to completely defy the laws of causality. How impressive that you were able to use that very power to devise a counterattack. You know, it's funny. You're the second person to ask if there's karaoke in this game. Ayame was here earlier also asking if there was anime karaoke in this game. Perhaps. But it's an unforgivably cruel plan. No different from taking the entire world hostage. I do actually How like I face the long hair. How can or the rest of Class good. 7 ever again? Putting Schwarzer aside for now, what's become of the members of both Class 7s? We're back at me tie deficient. They ended up escaping to your village, did they yeah. not? Yeah. I haven't heard anything more than that. Back at me tie. But as far as have we seen a title card, we've seen the intro music. Nor have I. At least it seems they made it there safely. Minus Crow and Ash, of course. Though it's hard to say if they'll be able to bounce back after witnessing the worst possible ending firsthand. They're going to be fine. I'm sure of it. I believe in Yuna, Kurt, and Altina. Nice clipping through the hair there, game. They'll inspire the others and shake them out of their despair. Then together, they'll start moving forward. The time I spent with them in class made that more than clear. Oh yeah, there's definitely we're still definitely going to be in the prologue cutscenes. Am I even going to finish the prologue today? Maybe I'll go long today. To make up for lost time the last two days. No. 
there he is. Damn it. I never asked for this. Oh, blonde haired boy. Who could it be? You think I need to be hidden away somewhere? I got myself into this shit. I'll get myself out. No freaking way. Where is he escaping from, though? Hmm. Now where the hell are we going? Uh-oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Hmm. What? That can't be Crow. Ah, Crow's there dead. you are. Been looking for you. Oh, it's McBurn. just you. Guys. And Duvali. McBurn is cool, but got a dumb name. What do you mean, just you guys? <laughs> you got your memories back then? <laughs> so, what's your plan now that shit's about to go down? About that. My contract's up. I'm nobody's pawn anymore. Right now, I'm just the Azure Awakener. And that means I've got my own role to play. At least, for what little time Well, to be fair, there are eight over. games worth oh, of yeah? characters to, like, <sighs> reintroduce. It's fine, though. Works out well enough for me. Gives me one final shot at getting revenge for my grandfather. But if you're looking for a fight, you better keep walking. That's a damn shame. Well, if the mood strikes you, you know who to call. McBurn Busters. He never fails to get on my nerves. But you, why are you so... <laughs> Completely irresistible? Don't tell me you fell for me. Nah, guess not. Your heart already belongs to that master of yours, huh? Unless a certain goody two-shoes went and stole it away. Absolutely not! I swear, why is it that you, McBurn, and that ogre girl all treat me like I'm some love-struck little child? Well, you kinda are. <laughs> Gotta. <sighs> anyway... What exactly do you plan to do about him? Hmm. It's his own problem to deal with. The way he is right now, I don't have it in me to bother with him. There he is. Nice work. We're lucky you're here. You!
Piss off, George. You finally got him under control. I'd suggest keeping him like that. Don't worry, though. It won't be much longer. <laughs> the rivalries will begin soon. Oh, just shut up! We're not going to be part of your evil scheme! <sighs> you need to beat this. Uh. Come on. Think of all the people who are counting on you, waiting for you to snap out of this. Not a fan of George, I'll be honest. Was a fan of Angie, but he had to go and ruin that, didn't he? Do you hear me, Rain Schwarzer? Oh, is this a proper intro now? Title card. Big fan of this intro so far. It's a good thing that Falcom don't give a shit about DMCA stuff. There you go, you get you get one shot of a cell. That's it, that's all you get. You get one half a second shot of a cell. Hooray! I completed the prologue. Five and a half hours in. Yeah. Yeah, the protagonist is Reen, apparently. But he's currently chained up. So I, I don't really know who we're going to be playing as in the beginning of the game. Probably Yuna, which would suck. <laughs> To be fair, this this is a, a mech anime game, so makes sense. <gasps> Close. A day until my birthday in game. Yeesh. 
This place gives me a serious case of the heebie-jeebies. So this is it? The Hexen Clan's Labyrinth of Ordeals. That it is. As I told you yesterday, your long rest has left you weak. If you remain so out of shape, you will find yourself in mortal danger with every battle that lies ahead. I do feel like I'm weaker than before. <sighs> I still feel kind of bad that we couldn't head out with the others, though. Earlier that morning... Okay, Randolph, take good care of these three. Grandmother, try not to be too hard on them. Of course. I may not look it, but I am an instructor, remember? Hmm... You know... Oh, worry not. I plan to rough them up just enough to get them ready. <sighs> <sighs> Come now, there's no need to be so down. You'll catch up to us before you know it. Besides, while you're doing your training, okay. we'll be gathering intel. I, I, I hear it now. I hear the Laura, uh... We'll look for info on Reen, the mobilization law, uh, anything that might come in handy. Come join us once you're ready. We've got a tough mission ahead. We're gonna need all hands on deck. Understood. I promise. We won't be far behind you. Good luck. And please, be careful. No. Don't do anything crazy. At least not without us. Right. Then until we meet again, may the wind and the goddess be with you. Oh, Overcome that's whatever right. ordeals await you and come find us. All right, then. Time to figure out just how much weaker we've gotten. Well, ne none of you are an evasion tank, so we're very so weak. So our objective is to enter the labyrinth and begin exploring. Yes, once you have fought off the vicious monsters in your path and made your way to the utmost depths of the labyrinth, that will be it. For today. Orlando, if you would lead them. Roger Wilco. Randy, I... Thank you. you need to do a tear for list. For helping us, I mean. I imagine you must be worried mm. about the other branch campus Maybe. students and Tio. Sure, but I trust Tio Tot to take care of herself. And worrying about things you can't control doesn't help anyone. What I can do to help, though, is get you guys back up to speed while Reen's not here. The voice actor for Yuna also voiced Anne in Persona 5. And anyone else that you might recognize? Mm. Oh, it's Iba from Somnium Files. Oh, you've never played Persona. Ah. Oh. Is that the Kyoko Kaede? Kyoko Kaede. Uh... Yes. Yes, it is. I couldn't remember who you were talking about then. I was just like, oh yeah, Danganronpa exists. And I'm sure that focusing on this right now will lead us to everyone else down the line. Thank you. We'll do our very best. We appreciate your guidance. Good. It sounds like you are ready then. 
You stand before the grounds where witches of the Hexen clan Look. who wish to venture outside right. the village must first prove their worth. There are so many games. And my brain can only contain so much information. Saint right. Graal Labyrinth. The Trials of Class 7. Oh, what an eerie place. Been here before with the old class seven. It's a pretty tough dun uh, dungeon. Might have a hard time clearing it. Wait, you think we've gotten that weak, do you? Yes, I do. So why don't you show me I'm wrong, huh? By the way, you'll probably need these. I noticed you dropped them earlier. Hey! Master points. Did these fall out from our Arcasuses? Yeah, none of you noticed. Sheesh, how many cores did you lose like this? Anyway, don't forget to equip them. Roger. Uh, oh, and now we get the tutorial for equipping quartz. I mean... We already pretty much know about this, right? Back quartz, attack quartz, support quartz. Put the master quartz in, can be found in the augment menu. So you get. I think in the beginning, in the beginning, I want to make her my breaker, right? Because of the cross break ability. So in the beginning, I think her might be better off being set as my evasion guy. Yeah, because he's got He's got 11 evasions, so he's already got better evasion than... Yeah. Well, I'll probably just set it to how it's supposed to be set, which I'm pretty sure is like this. So action gives extra speed. This gives extra strength. 795. Probably be better on him. If she's going to be a breaker, having better speed is going to be good. Oh, see, look, he already has an evade plus three. Kind of weird that he doesn't have that many. Like he doesn't have any costume changes. I thought you were just joking earlier, but we truly are weaker now than we were at the Grau. Yes, we also misplaced the rest of our quartz, as he said. That's why I'm making you run this drill. I can't do anything about your butter thing uh, fingers, but I'll get you back in shape. I also want to make sure you can use orders. What? You mean brave orders? That shouldn't be a problem. Our axes are fully functional. Shall I see you prove it in the field? We don't know for sure. Plus, I'll give you kids some battle tech tips, all right? I'm your instructor while Reen's gone, and trust me, I'll work you way harder than the Ashen Chevalier. Well, whatever you throw at us, we can handle it. I agree. Let's get started, then. You can change the character leading the party. Something about tactics. Uh... 
So Randy is linked with... I'm about to call him Usis then. Northern Charging Station. Things get tough. Let's get... Right, let's come back here. Alright. Can I upgrade my stuff here? No, I can only rest. Alright, we'll just rest. It's fine. Oh, quick question. Harassing. Quick question for you. Is this the area where you missed out on the extra AP? Oh yeah, I should probably save now as well. When's the last time I saved? Oh, not too too long ago. Oh, this is okay. Well, that is good to know. Treasure located. When you think you're going to fight a boss, save. Okay. Silver chain. Oh, that is... Wow, it's already given me plus 2,000 HP. Damn. Oh, you'd have had to do the entire dungeon over. Damn. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, what the hell is this? That's a monster. It looks more like... Yes, I'd call it a fiend. We should exercise caution. Yeah, you'll regret it if you're too confident. The labyrinth suppresses the three higher elements in phase one. You should still be able to deal with the opponents here as long as you make good use of those combat links at your orders. Got it? Let's see. We should get some training in so we can re-familiarize ourselves with those combat tactics. Good idea. Alright, link settings. You can form combat links. Yada yada. We'll end this quick. About breaks. Enemies enter a break state upon their break gauge being reduced to zero and are left vulnerable for a brief duration. Yuna's order Sledgehammer. I love Sledgehammer. Great. Break through! Sledgehammer! I've already done the prologue. Why is it giving me the tutorial for this stuff now? Warcry unleashes a battle aura of a raw, exchanging stamina for CP. Ooh. You're done for. Oh. Eat this! Okay. Very well. Huh. My turn. Killed him by accident. Yeah. Glad that didn't kill. Gotcha. Nice one, Kurt. You carried that fight. No, I was only following your lead. Go. Panda, uh, hello. That went all right, but still. Yes, the power of our orders was underwhelming, to say the least. But it wasn't my imagination. But you told you, didn't I? 
Why did our orders get weaker? They got nothing to do with our physical strength. Are you affected too, Randy? No, I'm fine. But some of the old Class 7 members were having the same problem. It didn't hit anyone as bad as you guys, though. Bruce thinks it's got something to do with Reen's curse. His curse is affecting us? That is fairly inconvenient. But why has it affected us more than the others? Maybe because we lost a lot more mana when we were piloting our Panzer Soldats? so annoying we can't use orders like we used to. You might have to look for a way to get your orders back to full power, but for now, think of it as more intense training. I know you can do it. You're right, thanks. Could you level up orders in the last game? Even with their powers reduced, brave, order, uh, brave orders are extremely useful against strong foes thanks to their special effects. Yuna's order can inflict break while Kurtz enables a flurry of rapid attacks. I'll try and, uh, alternate them with Altina's defensive order to get an edge over the enemy in tough battles. The battle tab is now unlocked. The battle tab will automatically record information about enemies you fought. In order to unlock all the enemies given information, you must make numerous attacks against them or use certain arts, items, or crafts. Oh, that's right. That's why I bought battle scopes and I didn't even use it. Look at this guy. New type of fiend. Don't like the look of it. We better be careful. This might be the perfect time to test out gunner mode. Mm -hmm. Okay. Need to get a little bit closer. Don't let Holy up. shit. Okay. Our Yuna's mode change. Press the R2 button when Yuna is in battle to switch modes. Although gunner mode doesn't get the same attack and defense boost as striker mode, the range of normal attacks, crafts, and counter attacks will increase. Generally speaking, striker mode should be used against a single powerful opponent, while gunner mode is best against swarms of enemies. You can also change Yuna's mode on the equip screen. Alright. Set gunner! Set I want to use that battle scope. I'm going to use it on this guy. Yeah. Just in case. Here I go. Break through. Sledgehammer. Got it. Yeah, I mean, it's going to hit these guys regardless. Now. Oh, that's right. She has a scanner, right? Yeah, she can analysis someone. Uh. Yeah, I forgot she could do that. Back, he's back, he's it's back. Set striker. Huh, 
Don't do anything bad. Aha! Ah! My turn! Let's go. Oh, thank God. Yeah. It's down. Gotcha. My turn. Um. Nah, we'll just do Sledgehammer. I really like Sledgehammer. Now. Leave me alone. It's my turn. Oh god, that's that's gonna be a crit. That's gonna be a crit. Oh no. Oh no. My turn. Wait, what? Wait, does Crossbreak have Impede on it? Wait. Did I not yeah. notice that before? My turn. Uh, there. It's down. Nice. Hang on. Maybe I did. Maybe I did forget about it. Bad, huh? We're doing better now that we've been at this for a while. Let's keep the momentum going. Keep going, you guys. All right, hang on. Oh, it does. Huh. a big old dungeon. That doesn't look like a boss fight. Yeah, I knew one of Kurt's skills impeded, but I, I just forgot that that crossbreak one impeded, that's all. Oh, there's a strong foe ahead of us. That's the most annoying one you can find in this area. Use everything you've got and don't hold back. Orders, crafts, arts, everything. It goes without saying, but combat links are essential when you're in battle. Try to break the enemy first. Okay, my order's just the thing for that. Should Altina and I follow up with rush and burst next? High level link attacks have a better chance of inflicting break. Hey, you guys know what's up. That's pretty good. I'll let you use my order for this one too. Let me know if you need it. Don't rely on them too much though. Only use it when you really need it, okay? We got it. Proud Warrior is a specialized offensive order. It buffs your team and increases damage delivered to your foes for both physical and magic attacks. Ah. Follow it up with S-Crafts and high-powered attacks to deal a huge amount of damage in a short time. Sure. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Ah, an opening. Russian burst attacks. Unbalancing an enemy allows you to follow up by pressing triangle for a wide two-person rush attack, or by pressing square for an all-out, uh, for an all-encompassing four-person burst attack. Both options contribute more damage against the enemy's guard, making it easier to force them into a break state, making them much more vulnerable to being unbalanced. Forcing enemies into a break state through either a rush or burst attack. Then gathering BP once more. Following it is but one of many viable strategies. Just be certain to spend your BP wisely. A rush attack consumes only 2 BP, but a burst attack consumes 5. Okay. Okay. 
break damage multiplies by six during burst. Damn. Oh, it also cures all parties' abnormal statuses when activated. Oh, you can level them up. Because this is a two-star order, whereas these don't have any stars. that one in the bank. Oh, he can use Zestcraft. Ooh. <laughs> the power of this. 4S plus. You know what? I want to see it. I want to see it, and I want to see it now. Because I'm sure there'll be opportunities for me to get it back. Actually, you know what? You know how I'm gonna I'm gonna attack him to try and break him. Yep, there we go. Let's go. And then we'll do it like this. It's down. Gotcha. I want to see it. About time I got this started. I'd just give up if I were you. <laughs> no problemo. Damn. Oh, Randy's level 50, I just noticed. Regulus EX has reached level 2. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I thought it looked familiar. The bow part of the notebook actually puts a check mark when you fully scanned. Mm. No one's talking about Estelle. Well, I mean, Shun was technically talking about Estelle, but nobody's talking about Estelle, all right? Enemies like that used to be a piece of cake for us. It appears that we need to play catch-up. It's quite aggravating to think about all the training we need just to uh, return to how we were before. Don't sweat it. Take it one step at a time and you'll get there. Everything will be fine. Besides, it looks like you've gone back into the swing of things. I'll leave the decision-making to you guys now. Take down the enemies however you want. Thanks, Randy. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, so now it wants me to go this way? Okay, so maybe... Maybe this was just a chest up here. Locked and loaded. Which I would have known if I'd just gone this way. Some treasure. Okay, so what do you actually have equipped? Regulus EX. Wait, can I remove these? Ooh. Do I want to remove them? Can you say something about this game to persuade Sky not to buy it, even though it might be slightly spoilerish? Can you tell her over Discord or something, you know? Just... 
Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, maybe maybe in Discord would be better. All you've talked about all morning is how you're gonna <laughs> about is about buying this game, Sky. No, nobody believes you. These pillars appear to be cracked. Leave it to me. I'll call Clamsalis. Thanks, Ali. I can handle it, but you and Randy are probably more efficient. Efficient, efficient, yeah? Certain objects on the field, such as cracked pillars, can be destroyed by a field attack from a character whose weapon's striking rating is A or higher. Some weapons are more effective than others. For example, Altina and Randy can destroy an obstacle in one hit, while Yuna needs two. Oh yeah, I was going to check out the... How do I get to the notebook again? Like that. Okay, so I need to get more on that guy. And... Oh, I didn't get the rubble troll. God damn it. Oh, and I didn't get that thing either. Oh. I didn't realize that would count. Yes. Let's wrap this up quick. Aha! An opening. There. Gotcha. My turn. Huh. Here I go. Huh. <laughs> no problem. Link level two. I think that got him. Yeah, I actually did. Nice. I think I noticed something on the right-hand side where it said scouted or something. So there seems to be some sort of notification in the game that tells you when you fully scouted an enemy. They're in disarray. I probably shouldn't use yeah. any more arts with him. I'm trying to get him Now's back up. Chance. It's mine. No, leave me alone. Now. Probably try and get hers back up as well. Yeah. All right. Here comes the crit. Guy all the way at the back, eh? Yeah. Oh, I should have used an order. Very well. God damn. Oh, there we go. Now I can use an order. Mm. How proud warrior! My proud turn. warrior.
my turn. Right, he's back. Uh. Ah. My turn. Haha, <laughs> you fool. My turn. Shut up. Damn. I shall go. Blind. There. Target's eliminated. Move out. Yeah, I did it. I must train even more. Stats updated. Yeah. Nightmare. My favorite. I don't think I. The Trails in the Sky games and the Crossbell games, I don't think I did play on Nightmare. Um, but all of the Cold Steel ones, I have played on Nightmare, so... You know, I gotta, gotta keep the streak going. Yeah. That's uh Very well. I shall go. Yeah. Pretty much one of the reasons why. There. My turn. Take this. Uh, an opening. Just gonna bow scope this guy just to make sure. Make sure I actually get him. Let's go. Let's go. Now. Activate Bragara. Destroy. Here I go. Ha! Now's our chance. It's nice. mine. Uh oh. Ooh. Covered so quickly. What the hell? It's down. Gotcha. Got it. Oh, that's true. I can. Yeah, you right. Proud warrior. Got it. Go. Oh, here I go. Ha! My turn. Shut oh, it's good. Down. He's not. He's not blind. Gotcha. Here I go. Zero arts. What do we have? Eighty. Hmm. I mean, I might as well. Yeah. It gets her another turn, actually. So. Oh my god, leave me alone. My turn. Yeah. Here I go. Ha! Very well. Ha! Very well. Ha! Here I go. Ha! Ha! God. My turn. Yeah. My turn. Ha! No problemo. Nice. All right, let me let me have a look. I can remove Yakuza Zero from my list. I can. That is correct. Get that out of there. The next one I I want to remove from that list is actually Sekiro. Alrighty. 
Treasure chest. Proxy puppet. It's a proxy puppet again. Is that the thing that revives me if I die? Yeah. But no, I I did not 100% every song in Yakuza 0. I missed one. Did I just insta kill that thing? Recovered, recovered. Attacked. Oh, oh God. Don't give up. Thank you. God. Oh my God, leave Randy alone. Very well. Yeah. It's down. Gotcha. Great. Right. Now a completely unnecessary BP up. Well, in that case, it's my turn. Tap, tap. Wide open. I'll assist. Oh. Could you always get you materials from <laughs> random battles like this? Ready to go. <laughs> Didn't think that was a thing. All right, let's save here in case the boss is on the other side of this doorway. Oh, do they? Hmm. Aha! Seems like a good spot for a break. So I'm guessing this is the, the part. Yeah, I should I should probably save. Did I just save? I can't remember if I just saved. I did not. Let's save. Where's the save bond levels? Oh, there. Hmm. You seem to be missing some. All right. All right.
I'm just fine, thank you. Rose? What are you doing here? She must have teleported herself ahead of us. Yes, I suppose I did. What marks would you give these students, Orlando? I'd say they pass, but just barely. Still, I think they're ready for today's final test. You can't be serious. Wait! Is our final test really gonna be... Oh. Oh. Yes. A battle against the last of the true ancestors and elder of the Hexen clan herself. Oh. I wish to see the limit of your power. And then, what lies beyond it? Rise to the level of your predecessors, that you may reclaim your lost instructor! All right, vampire girl, relax. We'll do just that. That was our intention from the start. Let's go, guys. Come on, Randy, you too. Sure, but let me warn you. Roselia's crazy strong. You're gonna need to hit her with all you've got. We're gonna have to hit her with now, our best shot. Come at me with everything you have! Reduce Roselia's HP to a certain amount. AP requirements survive to the end. Okay. <laughs> Wait, why did that not hit Kurt? Break through! Sledgehammer! It's my turn! Whoa, why is Why does she have so much HP? I'm just gonna do this now. Shouldn't have wasted a sledgehammer turn on it, but it's fine. Okay, so she's fully healed. That's fun. I shall go. Activate Bragara. Destroy. Very well. Uh, okay, so she just cannot be broken by the looks of it. Wait, how how do you how do you see that? I'm gonna finish this fight before. Wait, what does sub info mean? Oh. Oh, in the battle notes, I see. Alone. Don't give up. Thank you. Here I go. Yeah. Here I go. Break through. Sledgehammer. Oh, you did never break her, right. so maybe I should stop using sledgehammer. Maybe I should just use proud warrior. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Cower before 
Oh my god, why'd you get two attacks in a row? Don't give up! Thank you. Let's go. My turn. Yeah, I'm 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 not gonna be able to break her at all. I do believe I'll help you Not again. How refreshing. I shall go. What's your S-Craft again? How? Proud warrior! Now. I'll do with some healing. But that's a waste of a proud warrior turn. Ah, dumb. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's go. There. Gotcha. Cower before my might, Crimson Lancer. Oh my God! Leave me alone. Try this on for size. Crimson Gale! All right. Hmm. Fence and speed down. I don't know if that's actually going to affect her. It's the only problem. Do you mind? Do you mind? Now. Hmm. I'll support. I think you Let's go. It's down. Gotcha. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh! Stop it with this! Stop it! How refreshing! Here I go! Let's go! It's my turn! Take this! I shall go! There! Yeah, I need it to move. Do you believe I'll help oh. Oh, boy. How refreshing. What is this fight? My turn. Let's go. Cower before my might. Crimson Lancer. It's my turn. Up insight. Wait, what does insight do again? Insight is the one where you can't be hit, right? Yeah. I seem to remember shining actually being pretty good. Go. Wasn't there a there was an S craft or just a craft in general in the last game that gave it by default? I'm pretty sure. I'll support our Cower before my might. Miss Crimson Lancer. Here I go. He just does not miss. Ha! Now's our chance. It's mine. Very well. All right. Take 
Take this! My turn! <laughs> yeah, right! Aha! My turn! Let's go! Uh, not really an upside to doing that, unfortunately. How proud warrior! Let's go. Huh. Oh, there might have been an order for it. Yeah. Take this. It's my turn. Now she's gonna do the. Oh, she's not gonna do the suck. The water... turn. Wait, why do all three of them not get to counter-attack, eh? Hmm. Seems a bit unfair. On it's mine. Oh, here that. comes the big suck. How refreshing. Okay, well, I should probably... Wide open. should probably heal Kurt. My turn. I mean, there's only one turn of Proud Warrior left, so I'll go for an this attack instead. Alright, how much is that going to heal you? By all of it? Yeah, oh, yeah. wait! Oh, no, okay, we're good. Okay, never mind. All right. I was a little bit worried there. Let's go. My god, our HP just does not seem to be going down at all. Oh, this is so annoying. Yeah. Thank you. My turn. Oh, I see. What? All right. Wide open. My turn. Take this. Yeah, just don't use now. the big suck. Fine. I'll support our gym Thanks. Wait. Oh, I nearly gave her a crit then. <laughs> Behold the dual blades of Vander. Now, <laughs> I'll end it. I literally had no idea whose aspirate I was using then. I just needed to use someone. <laughs> He's probably gonna big suck here. You know, if I kept up with the um, with the sledgehammer, I I might actually have been able to break her. My turn. Here I go. I do believe I'll help myself. Oh, here she goes. 
refreshing. My turn. I've done like 45k. So I've only got like... I need to do what? Like 70... I need to get down to like 78. Something like that. 75... No, 70, 77 and a, 77, 9? So I've got about 40k to go. No, like 32. Tough though. I probably could break her, you know. Break through! Sledgehammer! Let's right. go! Cower before my might! Stop it. Crimson Lancer! Stop it. Got it! Ha! They're off guard! It's mine! My turn. Right. Here I go. Actually, I'm probably not going to be able to break her. Very well. My proud warrior. Oh, proud warrior. My turn. Here I go. Take this. Whoa. It's my turn. Hey, this is going to be a crit. can become more powerful by entering an enhanced state while an enemy is enhanced they may use more powerful moves so be careful 
Enhanced enemies leave themselves open, making them easier to break. Try to break the enemy and regain the advantage. It's my turn! There's no way in hell. Didn't she get a perfect guard thing just now as well? So... There's no way in hell. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Anything I can use here? Stores 50% of HP. I mean, as long as I can restore some HP, I think I might be fine. Well, I'm pretty sure she's about to use an S-Craft. And I need to survive that. And the only person that gets a turn is Yuna. I might need to use one of these spirit incenses, you know? Get everybody up to full health. Hopefully survive. Why Randy? He has the most HP out of all of them. I mean, I'm only going to sell these spirit incenses anyway. No, you don't have to win. You just have to survive. I don't know if I'm going to. I'm kind of debating whether I want to use this spirit incense or not. I think I want to use it. I want to try and survive it. I feel like I could survive it if I'm at full health. Yeah, I'm going to use it. Thanks. Try not to get spellbound. Don't kill me. Oh, crimson moonlight, veiled in dust. She Let older now? Power. What happened? What happened to her voice? Burn to ashes, bewitching blood moon. Live! Live! <laughs> I lived! Easy. Never a doubt. It only took 22 minutes. level up. For real? Hey, Beacon. Thank you for the hundred bits. Appreciate it. I lived. Boobs are the power in this game. It's true. They link leveled up. They link leveled up. Everybody's link leveling up. Yuna went from 29 to 31. Kurt, 29 to 31. 29 to 31. Excellent. AP increased by three. Impressive. You managed to survive. That was real scary. That was real scary. Incredible. What power she wields. A single mistake. And we would have been done for. That wasn't half bad, you guys. Well, I suppose it counts as a pass, even if that was just a fraction of my power. I prefer this version of Roselia. Can we have her from now on? She 
she does look familiar though like the um she reminds me of a character from another game like based on what she's wearing it reminds me of Is it Mila? Yeah, she somewhat reminds me of Mila from Tales of Gilia. Ah, yeah, a little bit, look. Little, little bit, like... Not, not quite as much, but it's, it was the first thing I went to. Eh. No, don't leave. Ah. Oh. Oh, you're back to normal. Is the form you just took what you looked like originally? That's correct. Up until I divided my power to create Selene and Granius. Gran Granius? Granius. Money, uh, I'm able to recover my erstwhile form in places like this, which overflow with mana. Though only for a brief time, as it were. And now you're back to looking like a little girl. You're tinier than even Teo Tot used to be. I'm not saying there isn't a demand for that sort of look, but I much prefer your mature form myself. Andy, keep that to yourself. No one cares to hear your preferences for this. But for some reason, it doesn't bother me as much as Instructor Reen. I think I know what you mean. Instructor Reen's stoic and calm for the most part, but he's uh, then he's also some sort of playboy lady killer. Guess Reen's been having a rough go of <laughs> that and her. Just the consequences of his natural charm, I suppose. Well, young ones, consider this first round complete. Take some rest and then enter the labyrinth once again. Each time you return here, you'll find even stronger monsters. Just keep things challenging. Huh? Please don't tell me. We aren't finished here. So this is... This game's version of Dr. Schmidt or Professor Schmidt's whatever like research lab from CS3, right? Of course not. You thought uh, one run through would be enough to get you back in fighting shape? We've only got a few days here. You won't be nearly uh, ready to go if you don't push you uh, if we don't push you past your limit. Worry not, there are facilities here that will allow for a quick recovery. Then you can push those limits of yours to your heart's content. In fact, perhaps I'll go ahead and absorb some of that fresh young energy for myself. Seeing there's plenty to go around. Well, I guess the pressure's on, but alright, let's do this. Alright, this is only the first step. I'll persist no matter how severe the training in order to uphold the oath I made to myself. When do we get the tournament arc, though? That's the question. So this is a fairy spring, is it? Oh. It may be even more effective than the bath at our dorm. After everything we did today, I feel like I'm slowly starting to get some of my old strength back. I was worried at first when I noticed just how stiff I was in bow, but now... Yeah, there's light at the end of this tunnel. Our priority is getting back in shape while the others start gathering intel. We may want to rebuild our stock of quartz and equipment as well. Cool, there's a workshop in the village. Let's check it out later. Hey there. Taking a well-deserved dip, I see. Still in high spirits, I see. I suppose I will simply need to give you an even more grueling challenge tomorrow.
Oh, uh, hey, you guys coming in? Just go ahead and make myself scarce then. My apologies. Wait, why is he leaving? Oh, no, there's no need for that. You stay just as you are. Is that supposed to be, like... Is Randy wearing a towel or, like, hot spring shorts of some sort? And why are they that short? Mixed bathing is commonplace here. Think of it as a test of your fortitude. I'm not sure I like the way you put that. You know, why the sudden embarrassment? Like I said before, I don't mind holding off this time around. Heading off? Holding off? I don't know what he said. You're tired too, aren't you? It's not like there's any other bars you can use. Not really a big deal. We're all wearing towels after all. But watch out if I were you. Swimsuit's got nothing on a towel slipping off in all the right places. Randy, cut it out! Ah, you so pure, so naive. But I have to say, you've got quite the promising pair, though they pale in comparison to Emma's, of course. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> they must be just brimming with fatigue. What say I rest it all out for you? Hold up, that is not the kind of fortitude I thought we'd be testing. Uh, you're gonna want to see this one, Kurt. Yeah, I think I will be going after all. Hmm. Milliam, I get the feeling everything's going to work out just fine. Hold on just a little while longer, Instructor Reen. Una, Kurt and I will meet back up with Musei and Ash somehow. Once we do, we'll get you back too. Definitely. Ali, you're just going to let this happen? Oh, God. You know, please, have some decency. Ah, uh, worlds apart, just as I thought. Hands off already, you... Fine, let's see how you like it then, Ali. Oh, my God. Oh, God, stop this. Smooth and squishy to the touch. I could just do this forever. Yuna. Ooh, get it, Uni. Now that's more like it. Stop it, you two. <laughs> You're just egging them on. Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Wait, hang on. Did... I got the thing, right? I got the thing. I think you said up here that I got the thing. So did you not survive? Did anyone die during the battle? No, nobody died during the battle. Damn it, you got it. Okay. So I got the three AP. Okay, good. There wasn't like any more I could get there or anything, right? I can over I can overwrite this save. A final attack killed everyone but one. Oh, so you so you did get it. Uh oh. Oh, I see. So, because I survived and nobody died during the fight, I got the AP, but because you had s only one person survive, you technically didn't survive it, and so you didn't get the AP. I got you. Shame that. The thing is, I don't think I would have survived if I... What? They completely skipped over the 3rd of August. How could you? 
You and the others spent day after day in the labyrinth, training constantly. No sooner had they gotten their strength back did they receive a message from old Class 7. New Class 7's own day of departure then came with the following dawn. Fishing! Fishing! Aha! They are no longer in uniform clothes. I actually like these outfits. Like these, these clothes are pretty decent for these characters. I don't actually know what Altina's looks like because I've currently got her in the magical girl outfit. I'll have to check that out in a sec. These feel great. They're so easy to move around in. Who does Yuna think she is? Youngster Joey? Your guys' new outfits look great on you, too. I'm surprised how well they suit me. I didn't expect such modern clothing from an ancient village of witches. Modern, sure. Uh, some of us bring back magazines from the outside world from time to time. It's enough for us to keep track of the latest fashions. I once tried dressing a little more hip, as the young people say, but Emma said it didn't suit me. Yes, she can be surprisingly stubborn about that kind of thing. I suppose it does behoove her as the village elder to put forth an appearance of grace and dignity. Oh, I wish I could have seen that. I bet you were really cute. Anyway, it seems like we can finally get started. Yes, beginning today, we can take our first steps towards finding our instructor. Oh, here we go. For real, what kind of lead did you guys find? At this point, it's only a tentative possibility based on Grandmother's abilities and our own investigations, but if it goes well, we might be able to pin down the Black Workshop's location. But the excellent news. It definitely seems like the place they'd be keeping him. How exactly are we supposed to find it? I understand your concern. In the 800 years since the Witches and Gnomes split, we haven't found even a trace of their headquarters. Am I looking forward to playing Watch Dogs Legion? Um, yes, I guess. Um, I liked Watch Dogs too. Uh, I'm gonna be playing it, but I wouldn't say that I'm like hugely excited for it. Like, oh, I can't wait to play Watch Dogs Legion. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be checking it out. I saw a trailer where an old lady was doing a drop kick, so I'm like, that sounds like a kind of game I could get behind. They may have mechanisms in place to evade our senses, or perhaps they may even be hiding in a different dimensional space. Their lair truly exists somewhere within the Empire, however, that narrows our search considerably. Great Twilight has caused unprecedented disruption in the spirit veins. There are several spots across Erebonia where the local manor has been stirred into a frenzy. We call these spots Singularities. So far as I can discern, there are seven such spots of notable size. The members of the old class seven have already been dispatched to check the ones in Croizen, Norcia, and Nord. There are two more in Sutherland and Lemaire, and the final two we have yet to locate. Well... Chances are they're either going to be in that bit in the middle, the bit at the top, or that bit on the right. My guess is going to be the bit at the top and the bit on the right, because I'm pretty sure that bit in the middle is Heimdall. And I think the grey bit at the top that's covered in clouds, that's where... Reen is from. And then Nord is the bit on the top right, I think. The Nord Highland, uh, Highlands. 
All right, once we can use the spirit veins again, any blank spots on our map will stand out clear as day. Okay. Interesting. It's almost like a magical version of active sonar. Clever. Instead of searching for the workshop itself, you'll be single, uh, singling out places your senses can't reach. Theory is solid enough, at least. But you really followed all that? Uh, I mean, right. Sounds good. Remember, there are no guarantees this will actually lead us to the workshop. Unless we find those last two singularities, our odds of success aren't great. Still, if there's even the smallest possibility, we'll bet everything on it. Whatever it takes, we'll find Reen and bring him home. Everyone, you're right. You're totally right. Let's do this. Thank you all for your help. With all of us working together, we should have it done in no time. Leave the singularities in the east and the north to us. The rest is up to you, new class 7. Right. Wait, I thought they were getting rid of the new and old class 7. Wait! Oh, Tina's clothes changed. What? She's not in her magical gear anymore. Honestly, I've never played that much of Skyrim. Um... I don't have any particular desire to like rush out and play Skyrim. However, if there's any uh, uh, ever a time, oh, it was a reference to the Nord thing. Oh, I think you were. I I thought you were following up on what Beacon was asking about Watch Dogs Legion. Either way, though, I still have no real desire to play Skyrim. I don't like Bethesda games. Or at least Bethesda developed games. Bethesda published games are fine, but... Yeah, Bethesda developed games... Uh, I don't know. I, there's just something about them that I can't get on with. Like, I've never played a Fallout I liked. Uh, you've all worked exceptionally hard to recover your lost strength. Considering the trials you've overcome so far, I have every confidence you'll succeed in your mission. Thank you. Instructor Randy, will you be coming with us? Yeah, for at least a little bit. I want some answers too. I figure I might be, uh, I might be able to track down Tio Tot if I stick with you guys. So basically, Randy is taking the place of having Reen in the party. So until we get Reen back, we're probably stuck with Randy. be able to pick up some information as we travel. I recommend you start by looking for the Sutherland Singularity. Do you have the tools I gave you? Yep. A dagger and a necklace. These stake things, right? Once we find the Singularity, we drive these in to stabilize them, right? The pendulum looks a lot like the pendant Emma gave on Instructor Reen. Made of materials that react to large concentrations of mana. It also acts as the key linking this uh, village to the outside world. Head through the woods on the outskirts of town. The teleportation stone there should take you to the Isthmia Great Forest. Before you go, I have a message from some of the villagers. Who? Lease the innkeeper and Gandalf the blacksmith. Euclis? Uh, they've all said they have something for you. New places in the center of the village where Lise and Gandalf can be found in their respective establishments. What it is they want to give us? Feel bad. They've all done so much for us already. No harm in accepting a little extra hospitality if they want to give it. True. Of course you approve of Randy. Obtained attachment items for Altina. Oh, I can set each character's costume, can I? In some scenes, costumes relevant to the scene will be shown even if a costume item is equipped. Okay. Now... Hmm. I think I like this, actually. I th yeah, I actually really like this. This is really cool looking. I like it. Can I change Randy's outfit? No? Oh, she has alternate hat placements. 
Oh, I see. So there's her with no hat. Travel hat. Wait, what? What's the difference between travel hat and no hat? There is no difference. Skew travel hat. I kind of like it slightly to the side, you know. There's something, like, slightly off-putting about it, but at the same time, it's like, I like it. I think it's mainly because it looks like it's to the side in that character portrait. So that seems like it would be the default. Also, I'm level 51 now. Apparently, in the space of a week, they trained up so much. They went to guy's training mode and leveled up 20 levels. They've been doing some grinding. I think I got a new... I did. I got a defense. Oh, actually. He should probably have the defense. There we go. Hello. Come on, fishing. Oh, sorry, you busy? Not at all. I've been waiting for you, actually. It would seem you were fishing rather than just waiting, actually. I can do both, can't I? Plus, it's related to what I wanted to talk to you about. I've been spending a lot of time outside the village lately, collecting intel on the rest of the world and all that. I ended up diving pretty deep into the world of fishing. In fact, I'm actually a registered member of the Imperial Fishing Club now. The Imperial Fishing Club? That's a professional fishing organization. They're affiliated with the Lake Lord Company, as I recall. Oh, right. Some of Instructor Reen's acquaintances are members, too. The way I hear it, they're fierce rivals with Crossbell's Fisherman's Guild. How is all of that relevant to us? While the Ashen Chevalier's fishing prowess has been the subject of some rumours around the club, word is that you uh, students of his aren't too shabby yourselves. I guess we did get pretty decent at it. I hear you guys lost all of your fishing equipment and notes. I'll be frank, as a passionate practitioner of the angling arts, that's something I just can't turn a blind eye to. So you lucky lot are in for a treat. Custom rod, fishing hook, and fishing bait. This looks a lot like the fishing rod Instructor Reen used. Are you sure we can have this? Things are going to get rocky for you going forward. Sometimes you just need to cast a line or two and let the world stand still a bit. You can buy more gear or trade in any fish you catch over at the Limerick General Store. I'll give you special rewards for catching different types of fish too. One for each milestone. Be sure to check it out. One more thing. I don't know if it's because of a curse per se, but the ecosystem's gotten a bit fishy lately, if you'll pardon my language. I can see the weirdest outlines in the water sometimes. Might be worth keeping an eye out for. Thanks for letting us know. Be sure to keep it in mind. Alright. Oh, the job offer never came? Oh. Fishing points, you can cast a line and try to catch fish. At Limerick, you can exchange your caught fish for items. Buying fishing gear will make it easier to catch fish. Alright, you can now purchase various types of fishing gear. Alright. Uh, let's go buy some fishing gear then. Is there a fishing spot around here? Aha, there is. Alright, let's buy some fishing gear.
Oh, I can actually buy some of these to equip onto Randy as well. Probably sh Ah, shit. Whoops. Oh, and I can get volume two of this. I don't actually think I needed to buy both of those, but I'm buying both of them anyway. Where's my fishing? Rod level two. There are 30 caught for This fish. spot seems excellent for fishing. When the arrow is pointing at the bar, the size of the catch depends on where the arrow is pointing when you press the button. The bigger the fish, the better the items it will spit up. You won't catch anything if the time gauge runs out or if you miss the bar. If you don't catch anything, you won't use up any bait. Okay. Hold down circle to reel in the fish. Watch the fish and let go of the button when needed. Hold circle too long and the line will break. Don't hold long enough and the fish will escape. When the fish gets angry, let go of circle. Okay. There. Oh. I got one. <laughs> nice. Now it's just going to tell me the controls anyway. Aha! <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Cassigan. 24 Mirage Sephith. Let's go. Different people can fish different things, right? There. Got one. Feels like a big uh, one. Oh, crab. Less than a week from Acceptable. now, you'll know who the next president will be. Oh, yeah, that's on the third, right? Now. Casting. Fight received. Heavy tension on the line. Did I break the record for the snow crab? I got one. I did. Got it. All right, let's see how good Randy is at fishing, shall we? There. Uh, I got one. Wait, Randy can't <laughs> fish. Wait, what? What is that? Kangiru. It's my turn. So there is no animation for Randy fishing, apparently. I'm going to buy some more bait. Because I'm going to have to do some more fishing at some point. You know what? I was going to sell these spirit incense and dragon incense, but playing on Nightmare, I think I'm going to keep hold of them. So how do I... Okay, so I can sell fish to him, right? I 
Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going over. I probably won't. I might. So this, this isn't the same as... Trading in the fish, is it? Maybe I just talk to him? Hmm. I guess maybe I can. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep hold of these fish for now. Oh yeah, we've got issue two of this as well. Okay, so I managed to do all of those. Man, I'm so annoyed that I missed this divine delf. Yeah. Um, right, where are we going? Go to the inn. Oh, the inns are usually where you get food from. Right? I remember that there was some, like, food that you could buy. And, like, you get the recipe for it if you rest at inns. Is that right? Look who stopped by. Rose passed your message on to us. Said you had something you wish to give us, correct? Nothing special, really, but if you're going to be traveling around, you're bound to get a lot of chances to cook. All right. I'm so confused. Oh, really? Really? That's what got auto-modded? I'll show you what's wrong with that. I'll show you what Automod has deemed completely incorrect with what you've just said. That's basically what it was. It's so dumb. It was the combination of... Right, you know where you put New Game Plus? Well, it determined that New Game Plus and then Space, the letter A, deserved to be auto-modded. And a recipe book. A book. It looks like uh, a lot like the one Instructor Reen used. Glad you like it. I hope you get some good use out of it. Take these two as the Haven's recommended recipe and the ingredients to go along with it. Tasty potato chowder. Quite generous. Are you sure you want to give us this much? Don't be shy. Go ahead and take it. It doesn't matter who you are. You still need to keep up your strength. Whatever else may happen, you go at least try to get in some regular meals. It's all very sweet of you, at least. Thank you. You're a real lifesaver. Oh, making food. If you have recipe and ingredients, you can cook food. You can learn recipes by trying dishes at restaurants. You can also learn them from recipe books. Unique dishes. When certain characters make a dish, they make a unique dish that is different from the recipe. 
Depending on what dish you have them cook, they may also end up making superb food or even downright something downright peculiar. Be sure to experiment. Okay, so this all seems pretty straightforward. Uh, let's do some cooking, shall we? I got this in the bag. Mm, looks tasty. So you made the normal version. Now let's begin. Her has made hmm, this went well. A normal version. Initiate cooking mode. And Altina has made an unexpected result. A watery white mush. get auto mode on you whenever you talk about dog and cat breeds. Ugh. Yeah, those terrible, terrible dog and cat breeds. Yeah. Man, auto mod is a disgrace sometimes, honestly. No, stop talking to people. Why is talk, why is shop not the top option? Come on. All right, what did I need to make that? Onion, flaky potato, rock salt. Onion. Flaky potato. Rock salt. I'll try and get Randy to cook it as well. You just leave this to old Randy. <laughs> oh, you made a you made a watery watery white mush as well. Okay. All right, where else are we going? So we need to go to the factory. We've got the oh, there's something going on over here. Very well. Now, here I go. All right. Here I go. Let's enter the hot spring. Oh god, not again. <laughs> you leveled up. Don't TOS me, Rose. Good break. Wait, why? What does the blue star mean again? <sighs> A good break. the hmm. can't remember how to isn't the help menu right uh is it not combat controls general no not combat lists no combat links no Ah, there is. Miscellaneous slash extras. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay, so we've been to the... We've been to the inn. What was that? A herbalist's home? Oh yeah, she sells potions. Right. What do you want? Once I've done the dishes, I'll get to training. I was in the literature club of the military academy, right? Once I realized that, I figured maybe I could be more like her if I read books from the outside world. You know, it's just a place and got him to buy me a book on one of his trips. It's called Three and Nine. Have you heard of it? I can't say I have. It's the first time I've heard of it too. The title is intriguing though. In that case, I'd love to know what you think of it. Have at it, friends. At first, it reads like a regular story about a lady and her butler, but then the plot takes a huge turn. You won't be able to put it down, I promise. Thanks, I'll definitely dig in once I have some spare time. What I want to know is... How do they come up with the stories for these books? Oh my god, it's... The chat... It's 22 pages? Do I... Do I read the books? Have you been reading the books? Arising. No. Okay. What the hell is that? And is it dead? What do you think you're doing bringing home an injured monster? Don't tell me you want to keep it as a pet. It's her. I couldn't leave him on alone. There's no way he would have survived. Very well. I'll teach you a, t a taming spell to make him more familiar. Promise me you'll take proper care of him. Girl and her pet monster, huh? That's something you don't see every day. Probably more used to monsters than we are. Are you selling anything good? Ooh. A brave seed, eh? Sell me something. There we go. Celestial Balm for 2400 I do not have the money for that. I do need to reset some of my battle scopes, though. You found Chapter 2 and you immediately realized that you missed Chapter 1 and you fell into sadness. Oof. Alright, what you got for me, Gandalf? Sorry to call you over at a time like this. I know you must be busy. Not at all, it's fine. We heard you had something for us. Very right, seeing as you're here, I thought you could use this rare quartz. Here you go. Analyze R. Oh, thank you. It ain't nothing special. Oh, and sorry, but you won't be able to use them in your augments immediately. What is that? This kind of thing happens a lot with battle augments. Is it because our Arrakis 2 units were upgraded to a new version? About the size of it. The same thing happened with the Enigmas. See, I remember hearing about a similar issue with the original Arcus units. Basically, you're going to need to upgrade your slots if you want to make use of rare quartz. The way I see it, the best way is to learn by doing. Take these and try it out. All Sephith 60. You're really pulling out all the stops to help us, huh? Got to take care of your important guests, right? It's only natural. You can now upgrade slots at the workshop. Okay. Select one of your party members or augment slots to upgrade. You can use the workshop by talking to Gandalf and selecting Modify Augment. Alright. First, what are you selling? Oh god. Wait, do I need these talismans? <laughs> are they going to be important? Uh, actually, the Knocked Watch. This is one of those... This is going to be one of those set items, I reckon. Because the set items are usually at the top. Yeah, I'm not going to upgrade anything for Randy just yet. A 
80, Joe, 120, 60. Okay, the first line is the cheapo ones, right? 280 for that, 60 for that. Need to have some blues left over. 100, 240. 120 white. Mm -hmm. Let's do the 160. 240 there. 240 there. Can I up? I don't think I can upgrade anything for anyone now. <laughs> okay, that's that's as much upgrading as I can do. Got your slots all upgraded? Thanks to the Cephas you gave us. Okay, it's nothing. There's one other new function to this version you'll be wanting to know about. Hold on to your hats. There's no more sub master ports restrictions. From now on, when setting up a master ports in a sub slot, you can have them set for as many people. Wait, what? What? So if I want to set a sub quartz on anyone, I can set it for everyone. So I could give everyone sub Sophia. That is impressive. So using Yuna's Scold Quartz as an example, with this new version, Altina, myself, and Instructor Randy can all simultaneously use it as a sub Master Quartz? That's right. You sure pick things up quick. Oh, I haven't heard about that. Seems like it's going to come in handy. Yeah, for sure. We better set it all up now so we don't forget about it. Use it however you see fit. Let me know if you want any new weapon upgrades or equipment before you go. Now synthesize Quartz and strengthen your weapons at the workshop. Excellent. Excellent. Additionally, you can select exchange to trade Sephith masses you obtain throughout the game for Mira. You can trade elemental Sephith in at the workshop, but it can also be used to create quartz. Uh, Sephith masses are only good for trading for Mira, so make sure you do so whenever you're short on Mira. New class 7 is now... They now set sub master quartz. Unlike your main master quartz, sub master quartz can be set by several party members at once. Setting one master quartz to several characters at once won't increase the experience points it receives, however. Change your ornament saying select the ornament from the camp menu. Alright. I think we're done here. Alright, we should move on to the woods next. Once we pass through to reach the Saint Graal Labyrinth, correct? Never would have expected the Ismia Great Forest to have a hidden side to it like this. Anyway, let's head outside the village. Alright, now that I've done all that. Why? Hmm. Do any of these boost evasion? Serious will. It's just a shame that evasion doesn't show as a stat. Oh yeah. Um. one I guess. Oh it needs to be leveled more. Oh I see. Oh that's right. Wait he gets serious as well? Okay I guess he just gets serious by default as his secondary. Are you sure you don't sell any master quartz? What is wrong with you? Yeah, I mean... Might as well upgrade these. And now I have no money.
Who are these two? I need to go down there. anything I missed in the house. We'll give everything a once-over before we leave. There's this celestial basin. In short, it's a map of the spirit veins across the empire. I pulled out a storage for the spiritual scan. It must be a very impressive tool. We'll begin operations to locate the singularity in Sutherland. We're counting on your help. Don't worry yourself. Leave this work here to me. I'll usually be making V to help out with things like this, but she went and disappeared yet again. She's the same as ever. I think she's cooperating with the Weisland army that Musei set up. I suppose she intends to exit the spotlight for the time being. I'll try tracking her down, but I wouldn't count on anything coming of it. It's time you headed off. We're relying on your leadership, Orlando. Roger Wilco, Rosie. Looking looking basin sits in the middle of the room. And just to really rub it in, even though you said BRB, I'm going to climb this ladder again. For fun. I like this place. <laughs> place is good. It's got a little penguin here. And why I imagine is original copies of Red Moon Rose, or Red Rose Moon, whatever it's called. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything going on in here. No wardrobes or anything to open. Oh, that's right. You can just drop off. Right, let's actually sell some stuff. And we will buy a couple of those items. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll sell these spirit incense and dragon incense. They're kind of cheating. Cheaty, cheaty items. Oh yeah, I can equip that Analyze as well, can't I? Put it on Altina. Gives ATS and Accuracy up. That's pretty good. Pretty good. It's it's pretty much what I expected. It's just Cold Steel 3, which was great, with a new um new story. Well, a continuation of the story. So yeah, pretty great. Plus they've made some quality of life updates, which I like, and they've made some buffs to things, which I like. Two Earth Pulse R's. Hmm. Oh, can I make a freeze yet? I'd love to make a freeze.
This is what I just tried to do, didn't I? Wait, can I upgrade this? Oh no, I, this is how I make them. I see. Uh, oh, I can make evades. Making evades would be pretty good. Yeah, let's make an evade for Yuna. Actually, can I strengthen this into an, an evade too now, I wonder? Oh, because I've got one equipped. Uh... Yeah, I guess it wouldn't really matter too much. Oh, talismans are pretty good. I do have enough to buy all of them, don't I? 30 plus 18, 48. I mean, I technically do have enough to buy all of them. Do any of these do anything good? No, they just prevent statuses. Why can I navigate this menu that doesn't exist? Okay, so you have that. Oh, Storm Talisman gives evasion. This gives strength. This gives evasion. This probably switch around with the knock watch and the icy talisman, and then you can get the proxy puppet. How long does the how long to beat stay? Or would that be too spoilery? Okay. Oh God. Twice the amount. How dare you? I'll have you know, the only game I've ever gone over the estimate for how long to beat is Persona 5. All right? Every other game I've come in under estimate. Let's go. How dare you. I mean, this game has social stuff. Because, like, you've got, um, you've got, like, everybody's link level, but then there's also, uh, where is it? Bond levels that you've got to increase by hanging out with people. Get their bonding points. So, from this list, we're missing Ash. Muse and then some other characters. <laughs> Look, all I want to know is where the hell is Toa?
Toa was the captain of the ship. Computer cop girl? What? Computer cop girl. I, I actually don't know who you're talking about when you say that. Who are you talking about when you say computer cop girl? Yeah, the captain that looks like the child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lloyd. Oh, her. Tio. I can see how you get would get confused between Tio and Toa, I guess. Uh, am I going over? Um, yeah, I might do for a little bit. Might go like an hour over or something. I've been to the inn, I've been to the herbalist's home, I've been to the fortune teller's home, I've been to the factory, I've been to the general goods, I've done some fishing, I've been to the atelier. Hmm. I guess it's time to leave. I need to get a quick heal in, though. I forgot the turbo mode was a thing that existed. That's not why I expected that to look like. That's it, right? The teleportation stone? Yeah, first things first. Let's head to the woods. Uh, so what is this way? Clearing. Wooden door is locked. Does earlier say this led to the clearing outside the village? That's right. One that isn't usually in use, as I recall. I don't detect anyone there, though it doesn't seem the kind of place that warrants a visit either way. Damn. Alright, teleport to the eerie woods. Sure. through here on the way to the labyrinth before but the witch's tricks never cease to amaze me oh. looks kind of cool all right that path leads to the labyrinth the teleportation stone for sutherland is on the right let's go Thank you. 
Wait, so what's behind me? What's this way? Huh. Secret boss. Die. Hmm. There does not appear to be anything here. I don't know about that. It would be somewhat funny. Alright, so if it wants me to go right, let's go left first and see what they want. What is this lead? Doesn't look like the right teleportation stone. Sutherland's is in the opposite direction. Kind of curious to see where this one goes. Sutherland's more important right now. Have we been to Sutherland before? We have, right? PS3 Chapter 1. Okay. I can't go this way. Oh, I can go this way. Man, I love how the, the screen just goes like black and white as you get closer to the labyrinth. That's pretty cool. What does this do? Oh. Yeah, let's let's not do that. <laughs> the land owned by Patrick's family. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Teleportation stone. Could this be? Let's see if the pendulum activates it. Hey, I reckon I'd do pretty well on it too. just keeps on going and going. It seems there is a teleportation stone further up ahead that leads outside. Looks like we've got company nearby. Keep your eyes peeled. I need some sort of thing. That puts treasure chests on the map. Can we get that? Is that a thing? Is it just me or does this forest give off the weirdest vibes? That would be the higher elements at work. They were kept in check within the Sangro Labyrinth, unlike here. Well, we'll just have to be extra cautious as always then. I seem to remember there was a thing in the previous games that let you see treasure chests on the map, right? I remember that being a thing. And, uh, if an area has otherworldly atmosphere, it may mean higher elements, time, space, and mirage are active. Monsters in these areas can be strong or weak to these elements, and the power of time, space, and mirage arts is increased. 
In addition, a number of special AT bonuses will appear. These bonuses are especially dangerous, so be wary of letting the enemy get them. Status attack, death blow, vanish, TP up to 100, TP 0. You've never played any of these games, and you never bothered to learn anybody else's name. That's fair. Now brace yourself. Damn. So we've got a couple of astral, but oh god! I just noticed that death blow. Okay. Take take away the death blow. I don't even know what I cast. I just knew they got rid of the death blow from it's my turn. from them. Eh? Eh? My turn. Oh, this actually gets both. Nice. Very well. Shut. Oh no! Eye for an eye. <laughs> no problemo. Story isn't important for these games. Aren't you the person who always shows up and says, "Ah, oh, this game is nothing but dialogue." Yeah, there's a reason for that. It's because the story is pretty important for these games. <laughs> Probably a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer! I shall go. There. My turn. To be fair, he is he is the biggest troll I know. So, You're yeah. done for. Eat this. Very well. A needle shot. Wait, what about wind? Ah, needle shot's better than that. Get him! Yeah. I should probably just have attacked, actually, because it would have been a crit. Why did I do Let's that? Go. Is that all? Treasure located. Luminous glasses. I'm guessing those are the ones that prevent blindness. Yeah. Hmm. I'll scope the devil flower. Sledgehammer! Sledgehammer! All right! Uh, I shall go. Time to get Another some DP back. It's mine. My turn. Yeah. There. Gotcha. Death blow? Ah. Oh.
Well, you guys aren't allowed to get turns now. Uh oh. Did that say hypnosis bomb? My turn. Look, the only character you hate is Reem for some reason, alright? As far as I know. You actually hate anyone else? It's my turn. My turn. I don't think there's anything I can do about this death blow. Unless... Oh, I don't want to waste it. <laughs> this should kill, right? Oh, thank God. Let's continue. I didn't want anyone to die in a pussy battle like this. <laughs> Power potion, shield potion, mind potion. Okay. Thank you, bargain bin. You're able to buy the book you missed? Oh, nice. Next time you go to one of the exchange shops, take a look at the victory bell item. Huh? Falco, it took me five and a half hours to get out of the prologue. So 5% is being generous, I think. <laughs> There was an hour of cutscenes before the game even let me play anything. Uh, now. Oh, it's a quartz called Moon Lens. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think you're doing? I shall go. Alright, let's just kill this guy dead. Eventually. Very well. Shut up. Got it. 
Do you have an impede? I don't think you have an impede. All right, never mind. Now, there. Now. Nice. They're mine. All right. Okay. So, do you have access to Moon Lens now? Did you manage to get it, or do you just happen to remember what it's called? Yeah, might as well. Let's go. Evan press. Yeah. My turn. in the exchange shop i don't have the quartz required to get it i might be able to craft that quartz uh which ones do you now. need because if i knew that beforehand that might be helpful I have it. Wait. I have analyzed R already. Shouldn't you have analyzed R as well? Eye for an eye. Knocked him right into next week. You get one for free. Like. You, yeah, you literally get one for free from the orb station guy in the village. Or do you need to analyze ours? Oh, well, in that case, yeah. I, I mean, if analyze only costs 20... Hmm. Yeah, it might actually be worth... Might be worth looking into. Is there a, is there not a um, an orb factory where you are at the moment then? You don't have the septum for it, or sepith rather. Because if I can, if I can not go back to the village, oh, you did get it. Ah. Oh. Oh, you said you didn't get it. Ah, uh, we've still got to deal with these. It's what you might call a pain in the neck in more ways than one. Man. This place is a bit more twisty and turny than I was expecting. Let's take care that we don't get lost. Ha! Ooh, 50 of every sepith.
Oh, I see. There. Got ya. We have the advantage. Could actually be bad. I should probably try and finish this battle before I get to that zero BP thing. Maybe by we'll do this. My turn. Ah, that's not gonna work actually, is it? Oh, there isn't an exchange shop. I see what you mean. Okay. Is that all? Maybe I can link these fights together. Oh, I found some treasure. Treasure. Okay, so these guys are linked together. How can I link these together in a three? Don't let up. Three chain bows. There we go. Good evening, Yang. How you doing? Initiating an encounter with one or multiple enemies close by will result in fighting more than one, yada yada. Doing all right. Let's go. Doing all right. Huh. There. Gotcha. Now. Eh. Eh. There. They're mine. It's my turn. Ha, ha. Well, at least she didn't immediately well. get a turn. Huh. Now. Oh, she didn't even die. Oh. Here I got go. her with the backhand. <laughs> Keep them coming. It's my turn. This is it. Why would this be Hades? Oh my god, leave Kerr alone with the backhand. Let's go. Break through! Sledgehammer! My turn. I shall go. Oh yeah, that's that's not gonna work. Activate Bragara! Destroy. Managed to break the wolf, but oh god! Here I go. Ha, ha. My 
turn. I just needed to take some of the attention away from Kurt for a bit. Very well. Ah, oh, yeah. Wait, that might not have been good. All right. Damn, this is gonna suck. Fuck. Nope. Let's get him. Don't die, Kurt. Kurt, don't die. Oh sh. Whoa. Not today. My turn. I'll support our gym here. Thanks. Very well. Yeah, I'm not quite sure when uh, when Hades is going to come back. To be honest. Here I go. He'll be back though. Oh god. Okay, we're good. Now, there. This isn't good. Shut. There. Gotcha. Nice. You ain't seen nothing yet. Hey, Randy leveled up. Maybe triple link was not the way to go. Luckily, Randy's got removed. lots of EP because, you know. Yeah, I managed to finish a run of Hades before I shelved it for a bit, so that's good. There it is, the teleportation stone Roselia told us about. We can use it to get outside, right? Nearly three weeks have passed since the great twilight began. I wonder how much has changed. No telling what lies ahead. Don't let your guard down. <laughs> Look. All right. It only took me six months. It took me six months to replay Hades. It took me six months to replay um, Yakuza 0. Alright? It's not going to be that long. Sorry, seven months. All right, let's teleport to the forest then. Or, oh, yeah, the Grey Forest. Sutherland side? All I can tell is that we're in a cave. Feel that? It's wind coming from over there. The exit must be that way then. Let's go! Is it? Punch Patrick in the face. Oh. 
We're here. Hey, don't say anything bad about Randy, all right? Randy's great. And that sure is one hell of a trick. Looks like we popped uh, right out into the woodlands near St. Ark. I take it you guys are familiar with the place? Yeah, never would have guessed we'd end up here, though. There are so many Aaron flowers here. Ah, this is the spot we visited during our special ops uh, missions, isn't it? That's true. He might as well be a Gears of War character. I mean, Reen's a better instructor than Randy is. Uh, during our first field exercises, we got ourselves into a pretty rough spot now that I think about it. That was four months ago now. Feels like an eternity has passed since then. I know, right, Kurt? I know, right? An eternity has passed since we did that. I need the sentimental stories for later. We're not here to revisit memories. There's work to be done. Yes, of course. Our task is to investigate the singularity and assess the overall situation in the area. We need to use our time effectively. First things first, we need to get out of this forest. Be on guard and watch out for monsters. Oh my days. Okay, this area seems... Pretty beefy. There's Norman charging station over here. A special type that we've seen countless times before. Oh, enhanced weapons and synthesized quartz. Ah. So maybe... Wait, can I synthesize quartz? Yeah. So I need two analyzers, right? To make an analyzer. Alright, that's fine. here with you guys makes me a little nostalgic i mean i do but i'm using it so mm. poor kids i want to make I another one for now i'll show no mercy yeah.
Proud warrior! Proud warrior! All right. Tut, tut. Let's get him! Oh. I'll assist. Now. I nearly just there. killed outright. I can't Very tell well. if that's just because Shut Proud Warrior is good or just because Behold, these things are weak as hell. Style. Yeah, I can see that. Ha! Locked and loaded. All right. Let's go this way, because I see a fishing spot. Wait, is this even going to lead the way I want it to? I don't think it is. Maybe I should have just focused on the plants. Oh! Oh! Eye for an eye. Yeah, get him! Oh. That's a correct. Alright! Aha! I'm awake now. Why have you done this? You fool. Very well. Now. My turn. Ha! Not today. Do you mind? All right. Ha! Wide open. I'll assist. Let's go. My turn. Target's eliminated. Move out. I mean, of course they were going to bring back fishing. Fishing's been in every game. It was even in the first games. Okay, this, this path is not leading the way I thought it was going to. There! 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 Ha! Let's get to Why are you like this game? Enough of you. Now. Fishing was the best mini game in these games until they introduced Vantage Masters. Vantage Masters. Locked and loaded. Vantage? Vantage? I don't know which one of the two it is. Yeah. 
Are you gonna say that you're allergic to fish and so you don't like fishing mini games? He dropped a bit of sauce on the floor, didn't I? Now. Break through! Sledgehammer! I shall go. Activate Bragara! Destroy! Get him. Try this on for size. Crimson. Get him. Now's our chance. It's mine. Let's go. Yeah. There. Gotcha. Nice. Oh, that's not fair. How are you Get so quick at coming back? Miss this as well, you little bit. Very well. Huh. Behold, the Vander style. Yeah, I did it! I must train even... Stats updated. Ebon Shade can now be used. Self, a physical reflect, stealth for two turns. Did I miss something over here? Was there something in this little crevice? No? No. Oh. Never said you didn't like fishing games, just said they brought it back, get your ears cleaned. I mean... Oh geez, they had to bring back the fishing, didn't they? That sounds like complaining to me. I kind of want to go back and find out what's down that other path. Leave me alone, butterfly. Fly like a beautiful bird, a fly. <laughs> Sorry, my voice isn't quite deep enough for that. Fly like a beautiful bird, a fly. Fly like a beautiful bird, a fly. <laughs> I love you, more. Ah. A chance. Break through! Sledgehammer! Here I go! You're done for! Eat this! My turn. Uh, there. There. Gotcha. Get him. Now. No, no, I haven't shade. Hit with the old Fraggle Rock.
Wait, when did I heal? Oh, leveling up heals you. Oh. Very well. You know, we were talking about karaoke in this earlier. Here I go. And how there isn't any. My turn. And it's very upsetting. Oh god. God. Now. Yes. Now. They're mine. Oh god, what does that do? Very well. Here I go. Is this thing breathing? I can't tell if this thing is breathing or not. My turn. I didn't know if that was gonna kill. Knocked him right into next week. Oh, I found some treasure. Horse seal. If only I just looked down that pathway before I came this way. I'd have known that there was a treasure there the whole time. All right, so if every game can be better simply be, uh, by adding karaoke, does that include Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Because I'll tell you what, I definitely do not want to hear Rex singing karaoke. Rex and Nia doing a duet. You reckon? You reckon that would be a good idea, do you? Well, someone has to uh, disagree, and that someone is me. I think I'm pretty much good. Let's save as there's a thing coming up here. Oh god. This one's definitely stronger than the average monster. Indeed, it may be a wanted monster, but even then it seems somewhat stranger than usual. Give me a sec, I just need to open my yogurt. Ah, come on. It would irritate Sky less than Tiger Tiger. Yeah, I don't know why. Tiger Tiger was great. play it all the time i was trying to level poppy up all right i was grinding sky grinding when a strange is taking down things that big I can't just let it be it might end up being a danger to civilians i agree not something we can ignore even given our current situation we can spare a moment to handle this Glad to see you learn something during your field exercises. As well as your instructor, I've got your back. Don't fear defeat. If you lose, get up, regroup, rethink your approach, and try again. Go get them. And hey, you do well enough. I've got a few rewards from the principal and medals from the Imperial family kicking around I can give you. No, we're not doing this just for rewards. But thanks for the help, Randy. I spare no effort to match or even surpass the old class 7. I'll do my best too. AP and Special Operation ranks. AP can be earned through completing quests and making appropriate decisions over the course of the story. 
your AP passes certain thresholds during a quest report, your instructor rank will increase and you'll be granted a reward. Excellent. Played it for like four hours. That's just not true. That's just not true. If that was the case, I would have retitled the stream Ghost vs. Tiger Tiger, wouldn't I? But I did not do that. I definitely did not have half a stream dedicated to Tiger Tiger. Why are you lying to the people? About Thor's unity. Though this one in Monster Quest doesn't count towards it, completing certain quests and sub events will grant you Thor's unity points. They're an indicator of how far along you've come in restoring the pride and bonds between members of both campuses of Thor's military academy. Just like with AP, reaching certain thresholds during quest reports, raise the unity grade, earning you rewards. So certain requests and sending notebook reports. You'll be able to send reports as you progress through the story. Ah. You can now view the quests tab in your notebook. The quest tab automatically records progress on all quests. Please know that when the story progresses, quests with a time limit of S will vanish from your list and you'll be unable to complete them. Okay. So I need to defeat this thing for my quest log. Actually, I'll, I'll save now. <laughs> That's right. Nine hours in, I finally got a quest log. It's powerful. We must take care. Do I even want to fight it? Do I? Do I really? Can I? Can I just kill it like this? <laughs> Alright, fine. Be on guard. It's strong. Oh! Eye for an eye. Here I go. Yeah. I do have a hat of this thing, yes. Let's go. Yes, I do. Hmm. So this thing has sixty-nine thousand HP. I think the best thing is going to be... Because I'm not going to kill it with three... Um, S-Crafts, right? I can kill the other eyeballs. So if I battlescope this thing... Actually, hold up. If I... Proud warrior. How? Proud warrior. Very well. And then battle scope. Yeah. Into these, I guess. This is it. Protecting the innocent even when they don't want it. Probably accurate, yeah. Now, transform. Sink 
complete. Go, Arcadius here. Ready? Launch. Rionac, open fire. Exterminating target. Why can't Twitch have a system in place? About time I got this started. The auto mod spoilers, eh? Yeah! Eat steel! Berserker! I'd just I'd give up, up if I were you. Oh no, we've already had a challenge in. Oh god. Let's go. Wait, don't give him the crit. I don't want him to have a crit. Hold up. Uh, ah! Let's go. Oh, that's the impede one, isn't it? Strike! It's down. Gotcha. Oh boy. Okay, we're good. Let's uh, go. Actually, are we good? I don't know if we're good. What is that? Asleep? Oh, that's a lot of stats down. Strength down. Ooh. How? Proud warrior. Let's go. Shut up. God damn. Oh. Yeah, get wrecked. It's my turn. Poisoned for six turns. Jesus. Ta -ta. My turn. Ta -ta. Uh. Did you just do? Are they still linked? No. Can you Here wake up yet? Wake up. Ha, ha. Oh boy. Aha! She's awake. Ha. Oh my god, I'm, go. I'm so weak now. You do with white. You do with white a little bit better. Let's silver thorn him. Oh, what? You summon more? I didn't know you summoned no. more. Complete. Here I go. 
Why are you constantly losing health? Is Yuna about to die? I can shiny palm in this fight. I can't do anything with Kurt. Kurt's just gonna straight up die regardless by the looks of it. Is he being drained of his health God. or something? God. Oh, God. Here I go. Oh, God. Okay, I got All this. Right. Just need to wake him up. And by wake him up, I mean make him alive. I'm not done yet. And then I have a question about War Cry. Does War Cry remove 30% of his max health or 30% of his current health? would say current that's the thing i probably wouldn't oh plus he's poisoned anyway which means that he's gonna die regardless he, he's just gonna straight up die at the end of this so i need to find a way to just heal him up i guess <laughs> I shall go. Okay. You can do nothing. I think we have firmly established that right now you can do nothing. About time I got this started. Yeah! Eat steel! Berserker! I'd just I'd give, just up, give up, up if I were you. I shall go. Get. So the only choice really I have is to just 
smash something in the face and hope for the best. Despite the fact that I have not a lot of strength right now. Yeah, that did not do a lot. Oh my god. Fuck the duck. I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Go. Oh, he had a proxy puppet set up. I forgot about that. Where did Yuna... Yuna got vanished. Oh, my God. Um... Piss off. My turn. War Cry does nothing, does it? No. Uh, actually, hold up. My War Cry. How much? How much CP do you get for attacking something? Is it 5 or 10? I think it's 5, isn't it? Oh, that definitely wasn't 30% of current. That was definitely 30% of total. My turn! Let's go. It's down. Gotcha. Come on. About time I got this started. Oh, Yuna's back. Sweet. Eat steel. Berserker. I'd just give up if I were you. Leave me alone. Yeah, get out of here, bitch. My turn. Yeah. 
Damn. Kind of hoping that would kill. Here I go. <laughs> well, look at that. Gold level two. Earth pulse. IHP increases break damage thirty five percent. Serious breath. Counter attack damage two hundred percent. God, that was awful. I obtained brown hair for Randy. Does that look brown to anyone? The same colour as this fucking tie. <laughs> that's that's blonde hair if ever I've seen it. That is blonde hair. I'm sorry, but that is not brown. Wait, why does why does Randy not get a swimsuit, eh? I still can't get over this. This bobblehead. Yeah, that was an awful fight. I hated every second of that. That was so bad. We found and defeated the wanted monster and we gained 3 AP for it. Alright. Alright. Well, that's going to do it for me, I think, for today. We'll leave it there and we'll get back to... Uh, get back to this tomorrow. I gotta let Arison get ahead far enough so that he can actually watch the stream uh, some more. I don't want to get too far into it. Because I need him to get further so that he can tell me about the stuff that I might miss. Right. I'm going to head off. I will be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. UK time and we'll do some more of this. I hope you guys have a good Thursday. Uh, I will see you guys then. Uh, thank you to Celine. Ladino Crow and Poke the Silver Rabbit for the follows and to Beacon for the 100 bits. Appreciate you all. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye-bye.